I should be live. I don't know if everything works as usual, but if you guys can tell me, that'd be awesome. I'm hopping in early just to make sure everything is working. Um, I don't know what is up with Streamlabs. I've been trying to put the chat back into the stream and whatever, it's not working, so I give up. Um, <laughs> and it's fine because I think today we're just going to be working on the Paper Mario craft anyways. So I'm not too concerned, and I've been wanting to do this with you guys for a while because I know that the tutorial itself can get really confusing. So this is perfect! Perfect! Billy the Bomb on Adventure! By the way, I got your email, so don't you worry. I got your picture, I screen capped it, we good. Omari, oh, hello Miss Bliss! I also got your message as well. Heard you got Animal Crossing New Horizons. So next time we play, I would definitely love to have you on the island. Um, what else is happy happening in chat right now? Oh my gosh, you guys are so crazy! Tatiani, hello, how are you? <laughs> Tatiana is like the app popped up for you, that's weird. <laughs> We just started YouTube. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so freaking funny, I get. Um, thank you so much, Adam, for subscribing. I appreciate it. How is everyone this morning? Um, how's everyone doing? What's everyone up to today? Do you guys have any plans for the rest of your day? I decided to stream early because I love streaming early. I know that a lot of you guys are just waking up or even just traveling to work whatever it may be. Um, I hope you guys have been having a really good week thus far. Um, Vanessa's like, Origami Boo is Bobby! Bobby, by the way, is actually already in the folder. So um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time right now if you guys wanted to print out um, Hammer Bro, because that's what we're doing today. We're going to be making Hammer Bro from Super Mario the Origami King. Um, we'll be making that today. And yeah, uh, it'll be really, really fun. Of course, I only do this really because it's a chill stream. And again, I know that sometimes my instructions are very clear. I am not like the best editor. I don't think I'm the best YouTuber in general. I make a ton of mistakes, um, but I mean, I try. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I really care about is just me trying and you guys hopefully liking the videos. Daniel Davis is in the chat. Hello, how are you? Sergeant's also in the chat. He's of course going to be modding today. Um, incredible man right there, as well as Daniel Davis, who's always so positive every time he comes in here and hops in and says hi to everyone. I mean, it's crazy. Angelica, hello. Uh, Gennaro, YouTube, yay. <laughs> Let me know if anyone's actually tried the Paper Mario Hammer Pro tutorial. Um, I'll be uploading the red version um, for you guys today before um, the, the day ends. So just in case if you guys wanted to try the red Hammer Pro, you can. That'll also be in the folder. Um, so you guys can, yeah, just dabble in some paper crafts this week with your friends or family. Um, and I hope that this live stream helps. Again, I apologize if my tutorial video is not the best. I am sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ashley, wait, can you not hear the stream? I am so bad when it comes to technology. Um, hey Chris, can you please make more normal Paper Mario Crafts? Like, what do you mean by normal? Because Bobby is in there already. I do have Luigi. I do have Mario. I haven't done a video on them yet, but they're so easy. Um, and I might include them in another video. I might do one more origami character and that's pretty much it. <laughs> Um, sorry, I think we don't have class until 3.05. You be chilling. That's a really good time to have class. Um, that's a pretty chill, chill time. It gives you enough time to also wake up, in my opinion. Um, Arco, hello, how are you? Ooh, really, Diaz? That is so cool. I hope you enjoy the live. Um, this is really chill again. You can put me in the background. <laughs> 
I'm not, I'm not really that important. We're just gonna be making this, real, <laughs> this uh, paper craft today. Nothing too crazy in my opinion. Um, I have no class till 12.30. You guys are still awake though. For those of you guys who have class, you guys wake up pretty early in my opinion. Um, well, I had class at 9.25. Ah, okay. Cool. When will that video of our crafts come out? That's a really good question. I am so busy this week, so I'm going to try to edit it this week and then hopefully have it up by next week. Um, I can't give you guys a specific date, but I will let you guys know. Um, can you make origami boo, please? <laughs> Maybe. Okay, here. I'll make origami boo as a Halloween craft because he looks more like paper mache than he does origami. So that's the only reason why I haven't done Boo, because I absolutely love Boo. I don't know if you guys know, but my favorite characters in the Nintendo universe is, just in Super Mario Nintendo universe, is um, Dry Bones. He's top tier, guys. Then you have Boo, and then you have like Paratroopa. I don't know what your guys' favorite characters are. Let me know in the chat. Um, but those are my top three. So, yes. Um, origami bats. Oh, that'd be pretty good. That's a pretty good idea, Sergeant. I like origami bats. He's pretty cool. Um, Billy, my favorite character is Shy Guy. Ooh. Miss Bliss, I see you, girl. I see you. Hello. Sorry, because I'm actually, I fixed the latency. Late latency? <laughs> I fixed the latency on the YouTube videos. I don't know. I'm more, like, on time. It seems more like less laggy. Is that what <laughs> that does? <laughs> so yeah, I was just like, Christine, everyone's telling you that's laggy. Let's go fix this. So I fixed it before I stream. And I'm, and it's so funny because like it's so cold in my room right now. Um, I just got out of the shower too, so my hair is just everywhere um but i'm wearing my animal crossing t-shirt that nintendo gave me and it's oversized because they know i love oversized t-shirts um and i'm just chilling today it's chill stream chill stream guys um this was like an animal crossing but i don't have switch online ah! yeah you need you need switch online um i know they had like a deal going on didn't they I don't know if it's still going on. I highly doubt it, but they had something where like, was it linked to Amazon Prime? I don't remember, but there's a deal going on. I don't, maybe, you know, maybe that'd be a good idea if I gave away like switch online codes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, yeah, so let me know how you guys have been doing. I like to hop in at least 20 minutes, 30 minutes early, just because I want to see how you guys are doing. And we can talk and chill and chat. You know, do Koopa. I am down. I'm down to do more DIY crafts for sure. Expect a lot more DIY crafts. If you guys have any ideas too, like let me know. You know, uh, shout me out. Tag me on Instagram, Twitter. I'm pretty good with responding. Um, although I've been getting a lot of responses for my birthday. So I'm still trying to catch up with that. So everyone who said happy birthday to me, thank you. I know I've been really active on Twitter. So if you said happy birthday to me on Twitter, I got you. <laughs> I got you, fam. Um, but overall, it's been really, really fun. Um, which character is the hardest to fold? Cold Ramen. We are going to be doing the hardest character today, which is Hammer Bro. He is the hardest character to date. In fact, he's so hard. He has two pages. <laughs> he has two pages. Um, but I haven't decided what to do, guys. Should I do the green or red version? Let me know in the chat. I printed them both out just in case. Um, but let me know. Should I do red or green? You guys get to decide. This is your guys' stream. So um, <laughs> let me know. I'm down to do whatever you guys want. Um, I'm glad you, oh yeah, of course, dude, Sergeant, your birthday message was so sweet. You're so good at voice acting, 
anyone in the chat that wants to be a voice actor, let me know. I have several friends that are actually voice actors. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna try to actually count this. I have one, two, three, four. I have four green. One, two, three, four red. Th five green. Five red, four red. Wait, five, six, six red. Seven red. Eight, eight red. <laughs> It's so <laughs> blue. <laughs> is there a blue hammer, bro? There is. There? Yeah, there is. I'm pretty sure there is. B boy, hi, how are you? I saw your message for me on my birthday. I appreciate it. It was really nice. Thank you so much. Um, Rambo, can you make a curvy origami? That would be pretty interesting. You know, who knows? They might have paper, paper curvy <laughs> in the future. Who knows? You know what I'm looking forward to, actually? I'm hoping that they come out with the next installment or update for Animal Crossing New Horizons. If the next update involves the coffee shop, I'm good with Animal Crossing at that point. That's all I've ever wanted was the coffee shop for Animal Crossing. Because the updates for Animal Crossing have been amazing. We got us swimming and diving now, which is crazy. September has started, so I apologize if you guys weren't able to get all the bugs and fish for August, but we in September now. So, we'll see what happens. Um, origami Goomba, is that what you're trying to say, Santos? I believe I already made Origami Goomba. So it should be in the folder. Again, I'm giving you guys a little extra time if you guys wanted to join me this morning in making Hammer Bro live. This is, I think this is much better in case you guys want to make this in the future. Just watch the stream. <laughs> because at least it's like paced. Does it make any sense? Like it's better than the tutorial because the tutorial is like so condensed versus the obviously the live stream where it's live and we can just make it together in case if you miss a certain you know instruction or you're confused about something not only are we making it together but you can pause it so go your hair is so shiny i know it is it is so freaking shiny i try to take care of my hair as much as possible um it is not oily i trust trust that it's not oily right now it's just really I don't even know what to say. It's just really normal. <laughs> it's just really natural. I have not dyed my hair in years. Um, I you guys can see my hair. Yeah, I mean, it's just, this is what my hair looks like out of the shower. <laughs> and I don't know what to do with it. It's getting so long, guys. I don't know what to do with it. It's sleek. It is. It's very sleek. This week is Mario's B-Day. That is very true, Miss Bliss. That is very, very true. 35th anniversary. That is insane. And I don't doubt that they had a lot planned, but I believe with coronavirus, um, plans have obviously changed. Uh, so that's probably why. <laughs> um, I hope there'll be a new Splatoon next year. It would be so much fun if we all played it. I agree. I don't speak Portuguese. I'm so sorry. Um, how do you send things on Instagram? Um, yeah, you can just DM me or just tag me. But if you guys have Nintendo DIYs that you've made and you want to send me pictures or videos, whatever, just hashtag it Nintendo DIY on any social media and I'll see it. I go through that hashtag like every single day. Um, Sean, I love, ah, <laughs> you're too sweet. I love you guys so much. Um, I had a really awesome birthday, a really awesome birthday. Um, obviously with the circumstances that's going on right now, considering, um, it's really awesome. Can I be honest? I didn't want to do anything for my birthday. Uh, I told Jason that too, which is really funny. And then he messaged one of my closest friends and was just like, hey, so, um, and it's funny because my close friend was just like, Christine doesn't want to do anything for her birthday. And then <laughs> my friend goes, 
But let me guess, Jay, you want to throw a gigantic surprise for her. And he is like, bingo. He's so, he's so funny and so sweet. Jason is so reserved. Um, that's why he doesn't really post on social media. But if you ever get to meet him in person, he's so funny. Um, Tatiana, make a fire elemental origami. Okay, so I've gotten that message so many times. Um, and I would absolutely love to make the volumentals. However, the only thing is that, yes, time. Obviously, I'm so, so incredibly busy, especially this week, uh, that I, I just don't have time to make them. And if I were to make them, I don't think I could make a tutorial video for you guys because it's so intricate so intricate like just even hammer bros today that we'll be making that that video almost ended up being 30 minutes long so and i don't want to flood my channel full of part one of full of mental part two of full of mental you know it's just it's just so much it's so so much so uh yeah i, I mean i might just make it for fun you know, and not make a tutorial video because not only that, but recording it and then editing it, it's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Chris, you should do Roblox. I would love to. There's so many things that I want to do with you guys. Um, but time, it's just time. I think after this week, I'll have more time. For sure. But I want to I wanna get your guys' uh, Nintendo DIY video out as soon as possible. That is probably what I'm more concerned about, is getting your guys' um, Nintendo DIYs out. Because you guys are so talented. You guys have sent me so many videos and pictures, and it's just awesome, and I love it. It's going to be a really good year. It's going to be a really, really good year overall. Vincent, I made Olivia, King Ollie, Princess Peach, Goomba, Shy Guy, Hammer Bro, and... Bowser, sir, you are so talented. Um, did you see, Vincent, did you see the sheet with um, the ball mom, Bobby, and Luigi and Super Mario? Make sure you make those. Make sure you, you finish that whole collection. So that's all for you guys. When will we start? I'm going to give, oh wow, it's only 10, it's already 10 and 1. Um, we'll start in a little bit. I just want to make sure anyone that wants to make it, print it out now because we're going to make it together. Um, Aido Khan, I believe I saw your uh, submission as well, actually, which is pretty, pretty cool. So thank you. Thank you for making them all. Joel Patching, thank you so much for becoming a member. Oh my gosh, I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy all the emotes. And since you became a member, um, make sure that you get the message with the Discord link. If you don't, feel free to email me at gundachrisstore at gmail.com so I can add you into the Discord. Uh, because whenever I stream, especially when it comes to Animal Crossing, I let Discord members come in first. Because y'all deserve it. Joel, thank you so, so much. Dude, you're killing it. Thank you for the support. I appreciate you and I hope you've been enjoying the stream so far. We haven't done anything except talk. I'm so sorry. I love talking to you guys because you guys are obviously a huge part of my life. And I just want to make sure you guys have been, you know, enjoying, having a good week, had a good weekend. Rambo has a question. Let me know in the chat. Um, let me, let me know. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any questions for me, please post them in the chat. I'll answer anything. Even, I don't know, anything. <laughs> I'm pretty open. I'm pretty, I'm, a, I'm an open book. Same as Jason. We have life. <laughs> we have nothing to hide, to be honest. Um, can you make a, <laughs> is that your question? Can you make a ball of mental? I just talked about this. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Vincent, thank you so much. All right, so I'm gonna transition the screen so you guys know.
real quick. That always happens. All right, so you guys should be able to help me now. That always happens every time I switch to this transition screen. I don't know why. Um, technical difficulties. Are we really surprised, guys? <laughs> Are we really surprised at this point? It happens all the time. But like I was saying, if you want to make this with me today, it comes in two sheets. Um, the red one isn't available yet, so if you want to wait till after the stream, I'll have that uploaded. I should have just done that before I stream. Guys, I'm still waking up too. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, we're going to make this together. So you guys know exactly how to make it in case the instructional video that I had edited for hours um, is not enough. <laughs> um, hello, I'm doing the homework. Say, whoa, whoa, hello. I'm doing homework. Say hello is what I think you're trying to say. Um, Edgardo, hello. Do your homework. Homework's important. Um, <laughs> so yes, today, oh my gosh, Calvin. <laughs> you're so sweet. Thank you so much for, again, donating as always. You're so freaking sweet. Sorry for being late, but I need to take my friend's dog out for a walk and then get back. <gasps> oh, freaking love dogs, guys. Let me know in chat if you guys have any pets. Jason and I want to get a dog together. Um, it's already decided, but I believe we want to get a dog after we buy our house, which hopefully if everything works out, if everything works out, Jay and I will be doing a new home house tour <laughs> for you guys. It will be so incredible. That means Jason and I will finally be living together. Um, it's funny enough because Jason actually has his own house but he is renting it out. So it's an investment home. Um, but if everything works out, if, if we get our stuff together next year, we'll have a beautiful home and I would love to do a tour for you guys. And yeah, you guys will, you guys have seen us grow for the past seven years. It's so insane. So insane. Try doing also Blue Hammer Bro and do one extra page, including the Fireball and Boomer. Oh my gosh, Vincent. You're so freaking smart. That is so true. Yes. Remind me, Vincent. I'm going to forget. I already know I'm going to forget. Um, but that's so good. That is so good. Yes, I'll definitely do that. Um, I had three cats, a Yorkie dog, a turtle, and a ferret. I've always wanted a ferret. That is so cool. Very, very cool. Okay, so. Um... <laughs> Very, very cool. I don't have any animals right now, and I really want a dog. I really want a dog. Um, but Jason and I have decided that we won't get a dog until we have our own place and we're settled and life is good, you know what I'm saying? So that must have been really fun to walk a dog. I miss walking a dog. I went to the dog park one time, and I don't have a dog. <laughs> but that's how much I love animals. I love animals. Ferret's name is Daisy. Oh, so cute. Had a Tamagotchi life grandpa, but when he said, I'm in love with Clara, Clara's five years old, I deleted him. <laughs> this was just so funny, I can't. I deleted him. He was no, no, yeah, that's kind of creepy. Just a little creepy, just a little creepy. Um, that is so funny. All right, wait, I'm not sure. Staff or Shire Bull Terriers are allowed in America. I think they are allowed. I don't think there's any dog that's banned in America. Not that I know of. I mean, hey, I could be wrong. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Let me know if there's any dogs banned in America. I highly doubt it, though. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off. Um, if you are making this today, the printout sheets are down below in the description, including all the materials in case you need materials. Um, however, the printout sheets are enough, but... Let's say that your printer and the paper that you used aren't thick, or they're very thin, or the printer ran out of printer ink, whatever it may be. As long as you get the pattern, you're good. And then if you wanted, which is what I suggest um, to everyone, whoever makes these Nintendo DIYs, I really do suggest that you get cardstock. It's cheap. You get a lot of colors, um, it'll last a lot longer, uh, it's double-sided. There's a lot of benefits to you just getting cardstock. 
um, because again, like you want this to last. And I don't know about you guys, but um, making these have reminded me of my childhood when Pokemon did not have figurines and we had to draw and make our own Pokemon figurines and then we would fight with them. But then obviously the limbs and their heads would rip off because <laughs> they're only made out of paper. So making these origami characters actually brought me back to my childhood, which is pretty cool. Fabrizio, hello. Oh, you're my favorite. Thank you. No, she said she can't make any of the volumentals. Joa, that's not what I said. <laughs> I said <laughs> I could, but it's going to take a lot of time. A lot of time I don't have right now, which is really sad. Um, but maybe <laughs> one day. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, I would definitely get the cardstock. I did post a cardstock material down below in the description that goes straight to Amazon. A lot of the materials that I post go straight to Amazon. So um, yeah, you can just buy cardstock right now um, and do that way. But I really suggest cardstock. Cardstock, cardstock, cardstock. Now the cool thing that I'll do today is actually not transfer all the shapes onto cardstock. I'm going to pick and choose the ones that I want to transfer because my this paper that I use is actually really durable and strong. So I'm going to pick and choose what shapes, um, but there are some that I will transfer over, obviously. Um, <laughs> can you make the... Oh yeah, no, we're doing that, Kenna. Kenna, I got you. I got you, boo-boo. I got you. Okay, so... Michelle Diaz! I feel left out because I just came and never said hi. You're so sweet. You don't have to say hi. Just hop in. You're good. No worries. You're, you're fine. Dude, the fact that you're here with me in the morning, I mean, I'm surprised I'm awake. So, <laughs> GD Gaming, hi, Chris. I dropped by to say hi, but I gotta go because I have school. Hope you're staying safe. Bye. Ah, oh, please stay safe. I don't know if it's like it's school physically or if it's in school like online, but please stay safe overall. School's important, guys. Thank you for having me in the background. I appreciate it. <laughs> Diaz, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate you. You're so sweet. All right, so we're going to get this started. Um, whenever it comes to any of these paper crafts, obviously we have to start cutting them out. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut out these shapes first. Um, and again, you just, I know I outlined the white ones in black. Just cut off the black. Don't, don't. Don't try to cut the black with the white. <laughs> I should have put the little symbol with the scissor in there. I'm terrible. Terrible. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go ahead and cut out the shapes first. Um, and what I like to do is not cut out all the shapes, especially when it comes to the small ones. Take your time, do each section one by one so that you don't lose any pieces because some of these pieces are really, really small. Um, I ever do the volumentals? I know, I know. When I have more time, guys, when I have more time, I promise. Um, but I don't think, like I said earlier in the chat, I don't think I'll be making a tutorial on the volumentals because the volumentals take absolutely forever to make. I haven't even made one yet, but I know already that's gonna take forever because that's just the way it goes. Um, okay, so I'm gonna cut these out. What I like to do too, if the paper's too big, I actually just like to cut out a strip and then do it that way. I'm gonna cut out the red and the yellow, right? Yeah, I'm gonna cut out the red and yellow um, and then um, start from there. Cause I know we're, what we're gonna do is work from the bottom up. Um, I think that's the best way to tackle Hammer Bro. I'm gonna try to remember this if I don't, um, if I don't, I'm gonna have to look back at my own video just to make sure, which is really funny. Okay, so, um, like I said, we're cutting this out. And I'm gonna go ahead and just put these pieces on the side. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep these pieces. I'm probably going to transfer these. Again, like I said, some pieces I'm going to transfer, some pieces I won't. If you're making this with me, let me know in the chat. If you're planning on making this, let me know. And again, send me pictures as well because, yeah, I am trying to feature all of you guys in one single video. It's gonna be a really long video. 
Um, the Koopa is different from to the Hammer Bro. Absolutely, educate them, Billy. Educate them. Um, they are completely different. But I am down to make Koompa eventually. That, or of course Dry Bones, which is my favorite character in the Nintendo universe. Absolutely love Dry Bones. I think he's the coolest. Um, coolest freaking character, man. Let me know what your guys' favorite character is um, in the Nintendo universe. Again, mine for sure is Dry Bones. He's just so cool, guys. Um, and then, of course, my next one is, you know, I always switch either Boo or Paratroopa. I'm not sure, but those are the next characters that I like. But Drybones, man. Drybones is, he is, he is Bay. <laughs> he is definitely one of my favorite characters. My favorite character is Bob. bob Bob. Yes, he's a cool character, too, especially, especially in this game. Especially in um, Paper Mario, the Origami King, he is such a cool character. Very, very cool character. Okay, so, like I said, we are cutting out the shapes. I'm going to use some of the patterns straight off of the printout sheet. And then I'm going to be transferring some onto cardstock. It depends, I'm gonna go back and forth just because not only will it save me time, but the paper that I printed out my printout sheet is actually very durable um, and it's a, it's a lot more expensive too so I don't want to waste it. If you guys want to know what printer paper and printer that I use, I've listed that I believe down below. It should be listed down below. If not, I'm going to update it after stream. But it should be actually in the latest um, origami tutorial. It should be. My favorite character is Fortnite. <laughs> Yo, can we talk about Fall Guys though? I really, really want to play Fall Guys with you. And I was reading an article about uh, how the developers are actually waiting for it to be, how, what's the word? To be, I guess, perfect? Not perfect, that's not the word I want to be. But I guess they want the game to be more developed before they do a Nintendo Switch port, which is completely understandable. However, I want to play it now, so <laughs> I hope that happens soon um, because the new skins are looking so good. That The skins that are going to come out are going to be so freaking good. I cannot wait. Cannot wait. If you do a member stream again, we should play Among Us. I am down. I, there's another game that my sister's been playing, and I forgot the title, but it's so funny. I forgot what game it is. But there's another game that I've been wanting to play with you guys. Um, and I actually will be debuting another game this week. I got an early copy of it, um, and I surprisingly love it. I absolutely love this game. So I will try to stream again this week. Um, it's really weird. It's such a random game, but it surprised me. Like, it surprised me at like how much I actually really love this game overall. And it's so funny because now Jason loves it too. So I'll, I'll show you guys what the game is. I'm just surprised that I even like it. I'm gonna give you guys a hint. It's a rhythm game and I suck at rhythm games. Like, I'm terrible when it comes to anything rhythm games. So I'm surprised that I even like this game in general. Um, I, I still suck at it, but I actually like this game a lot. I am terrible when it comes to rhythm games. Like Beat Saber on the VR, I can't do it. Let me guys know if you guys are good at, at, um, at, uh, you know, like rhythm games. I just can't do them. They're terrible. Um, Derek rules! So the printout sheet should be down below in the description. If not, go to the actual tutorial for Hammer Bro, and then you will see um, a lot of links, and they'll be listed down below. And it should say like Origami King folder, whatever. It should um, be there in the description. And then you'll see all the prints that we've ever done. 
Um, they'll be available for you. They are completely free, which is my favorite part because, um, yeah, I mean, I just want you guys to enjoy and have fun. I'm not the best when it comes to editing and uh, I try my best and I hope that the, the patterns work out for you in the end. Um, so right now I'm literally just cutting these out. <laughs> That's all we're doing right now, which is very tedious in its own, you know, way. But it's very soothing and relaxing. Just doing crafts in general has always been my way of just finding time to wind down, whether it be in the beginning of the day or even in the, you know, late at night. It's just a nice way to chill and relax, you know, so no worries. Um, <laughs> I got lipstick glue. Is that okay? Absolutely. The glue that I'm using is just Elmer's glue. I took off the label because of like reasons, but <laughs> um, what I'm using is literally Elmer's glue. Any type of paper craft glue is going to work. So no worries. I do not suggest that you use, um, what was it? Super glue. Do not use super glue because it's going to bleed through the paper so easily. Like do not use super glue. Um, the main parts I'm cu cutting out right now. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave this on the side. So leave this sheet on the side. You don't need this yet. I suggest that you actually don't even cut it out. Um, just because you don't want to lose any of these pieces. Okay, so we're gonna cut out these shapes though, and I just threw it <laughs> to the side. We're gonna cut out these shapes though. These ones, the first sheet we're gonna cut out because this right here is the body. So this is important. Um, I make paper cut out shoulders just like in the game and they look creepy just like in the game. <laughs> Joel, that's so cool. Can you send me a picture? Have you sent me a picture? Did you hashtag it in IntendiY? Guys, I have close to 100 submissions of Nintendo DIYs. It's not only just origami. I would want to say it's mostly origami, though. Um, but this is years of me saving all of your guys' submissions and creations. You guys are so talented. So that's why I'm really excited to actually finish the video so you guys can look at it. It might be a very long video. But I figured that you guys have taken the time to not only make the paper crafts or Nintendo DIYs in general. So at the least I can do is actually just feature all of you guys in one single video, which would be pretty cool. What if printers are the things that bring the whole world to life in Paper Mario? That's a pretty good idea, really. That's a pretty good idea. Would I be surprised? No, not at all. Um, that would be pretty cool. So. Right now, again, I'm just cutting out the body. Um, since my paper is a lot thicker and it's a lot more durable, I will be keeping this pattern. I will not be transferring this on to cardstock. I found that this piece of paper is actually really thick and it works so well when it comes to the body. Everything else I might transfer depending, we'll see. Not entirely sure. But again, right now I'm just cutting these pieces out the best I can. I always tell everyone when it comes to making these paper crafts that if you need to trim anything, please feel free to do so. If you want to change a pattern, if you want to change the color, if you want to change the design, dude, this is up to you. My, <laughs> my tutorial, I truly believe is not the best in the entire world. I'm pretty sure there's many different ways you can make these characters. So if you find a better way, by all means, please do so. Just use this as a stepping stone to what you actually want to accomplish. No, I'm not the best. <laughs> um, uh, like I made my mom into Magachi Life and she's my friend's dog. Oh, oh, I love freaking, I love dogs, guys. I love, love animals. Let me know what your favorite type of dog is. Um, I used to own two dogs. I used to have a golden retriever and a husky. And sadly, they both passed away due to old age. The golden retriever, his name was Reno. He lived until he was 14, 15. The husky lived until she was, I think, 16, 17, which was pretty cool. Um, both rescues, which was even better. 
Uh, and yeah, I definitely do want to get another dog eventually. So funny enough, I did figure out a mistake that I made on the printout sheet, but I left it in there because I figured, you know what, if they make a mistake, this would be perfect to just have them keep it in there. I printed out his bill twice. <laughs> He's only supposed to have one of this pattern, but I put it in there twice, I don't know why. Uh, but I decided to leave it in there just in case, you know, mistakes happen. Why not? Just in case, you never know. Okay, so. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this, these ones out. This is to the face, should I cut this out already? No, this is not even the face. Which one's the face? This is the face. Okay, so I'm gonna leave the, these ones here for now. I'm gonna leave them on the sheet. I am gonna go to this sheet now um, because I realized that actually this is, what is this? This is his head, so I won't cut that out. I'm going to cut out these pieces here though, because this is the arms and this is the hands. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just cut this out in a large piece in general. And then um, I'm also going to cut out the tail. So that's why I love streaming this, because at least, you know, I'll give you guys tips and tricks that will help overall, you know. Um, because again, I'm not entirely sure if my video actually does a good um, explanation overall. So this is like a good way for me to make this live. And you guys can actually follow with me, which is the coolest part. So I'm going to put that on the side. So right now I'm getting all the parts that I believe I'll need for his bottom half. Because uh, that's what I want to work on is this bottom half. And a lot of these pieces are really big, too. Okay, so um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... Is Streamlabs being a dork? Dude, I don't know what's up with Streamlabs. I have to fix it. I apologize. It's being a dork. Um, it doesn't like large paragraphs. That's what I know that I can tell. Or I did try to put it so that it deletes links because links will not be allowed either. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I have to figure it out. It's being a dork. And then I tried to name it, too, and it's this whole, like, process of just trying to name the bot. It's ridiculous. Um, but we'll see. Mokhtar, hello! Can I just call you Marked? Mokhtar? Mokhtar? Let me know. I think that's a lot easier for me to say it. <laughs> say your name. Um, Derek, hello! Make the squid from Paper Mario the Origami King! Um, maybe? But you know what's really cool? Uh, if you go on Nintendo's channel and you try to go to the videos for Nintendo Minute, I believe Kit and Krista actually made the squid, which was really, really cool. They're such sweethearts. Crazy enough, they're both really talented too, especially Krista. Krista loves paper crafts in general. Um, and we were talking about last time I was on the show, and um, she is very talented when it comes to paper crafts um, and just DIYs in general. So it was really cool to see her tap into a lot of the crafting uh, ideas and DIYs. And if you guys notice, which I'm really excited for, which is something that like, I don't know, it just brings a huge smile to my face. Nintendo um, actually, created their own account on Instagram. Um, it's verified and everything. And it's called Nintendo Inspired. And they will start doing DIYs and cooking recipes and fashion and all that stuff, which is so freaking cool because that's right up my alley. <laughs> so I'm excited that Nintendo is tapping into that genre which I know a lot of families, um, and especially kids, and just DIYers in general will, will love. Like, that is so cool. Um, I'd love to be a Nintendo brand ambassador, but I don't think I'd be able to keep up with the responsibilities. Um, it's a lot of work, uh, being a Nintendo brand ambassador, but like everyone says, um, it's not work if you love what you're doing, which is very, very true. 
Um, okay, can you make a cheap cheap, Chris? I would freaking love to make, oh, it's such a good idea. Who said that? Diaz? Oh my god, I would freaking love to do that. That's a good idea. And didn't you come up with the other, dude, you're so creative. You also came up with, um, doing another sheet, right? With the boomerang and all the other, uh, hammer bros. I would love to do that, the blue one. I gotta, I gotta hop on that for you guys. That'd be so cool. You guys are, I am telling you, like, people think I'm super creative, but you guys are way more creative. And I love it because you guys take the DIYs to a whole new level. You know, you guys make it your own, which is something that I want for you guys to do, is really make it your own, because that's what makes it really special in the end, is that you came up with the idea, you know? Do a ninji? I would love to! Can you make a boo, Chris? I would also love to do that as well. Have you guys made all of the paper crafts? Let me know. And if you and let me know if you actually submitted a picture for the Nintendo DIY video. Because I would love, love to see you guys' reactions um, when you guys see the video. Because I think it's just going to be so heartfelt. Um, and honestly, it's going to be one of my favorite videos to date, for sure. Because it's not for me, it's for you guys. You guys, like, deserve it. Se seriously, you guys have put in so many submissions and you guys are so incredibly talented our community is so amazing like you guys have taken some of these paper crafts to a whole new level that's why i cannot wait to show you guys like even sergeant got super creative on my birthday and he made an entire video i don't know if you ever want to share that sergeant but that video was so cool and i think you should be a voice actor too because you were so spot on so so cool um so i mean yeah sergeant if you ever want to share that video let me know i think it's really cool i know that sharing sometimes can be a little daunting um but as long as you like what you've created that's all that matters in the end um i don't know if there's any artists out there that are really shy to share their work let me know um but i truly believe that you know if if you're really talented and proud of what you've made and what you've done and created, definitely share it. If you get people who obviously, which you'll do, you will get people who hate Anya just for no good reason, don't mind them because obviously they don't matter, but you will get people that will love your work regardless, which is the coolest thing. The best part is that you'll actually meet people who will love your work and those people matter. All right, so I've already cut out this entire shape. I'm, I'm thinking that I should grab my hammer bro that I made. I don't know what I, where I put him. I might have put him on the other side. I'm gonna grab him just in case, because I feel like I'm gonna forget how to make him. Give me one second, because I left him on the side. I basically got the whole yellow squad up in here. Oh my god, Fall Guys account would hate me. Okay, so <laughs> they're all yellow, which is really funny. Okay, so um, here we go. We have Olivia. We have the hammer bro that we're making right now. So this is what we're making right now, except he's going to be red, which is pretty cool. We also have the yellow shy guy who is also Ollie, actually. Um, so we're gonna keep these guys on the side um, And if you are making this I highly recommend that you use a lot of reference pictures when I make anything Anything Even when it comes to origami, I always have reference pictures all the time And I literally have them scattered all over my desktop my desktop looks like a bomb went off and just splattered hammer bro all over it which is pretty cool but uh yeah i really highly suggest that you have a lot of reference pictures because that's the most most important thing is to be as accurate as possible um but again in, at the end of the day if it's not accurate don't even worry about it you know as long as you like it as long as you like it that's all that matters um so yeah use a lot of reference pictures so <laughs> can you make an origami sombrero guy yo joe i would love to do that 
I would love to. I just need more time. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna make this guy. Um, and again, reference pictures, reference pictures. We're gonna start off with the body now. <laughs> I'm gonna apologize ahead of time. Speaking of uh, like making no mistakes, making mistakes in general, um, Hammer Bro actually has a couple of details that I did miss. Um, or actually, detail. I, I missed some details, but most of the details that I missed are actually on his body. So I'm going to be including that in today's video. Again, because I want to be as accurate as possible. And I didn't realize until I already had filmed that I completely forgot this. Um, little small details. So I'm going to be adding that today in this video for you guys. So that's why I tell everyone if you really want to know how to make them, just watch the live streams. I know it's tedious because like I'm also talking a lot, but um, you'll capture everything. Uh, <laughs> every time I talk, everyone else talks. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is obviously fold this in half. So we're going to go ahead and fold this in half. You want to make sure that you get every single point aligned to the T. And if it's not, don't worry because we'll be folding everything anyways. But you want to fold it in half. And again, guys, this is the body because the body is the most important part, in my opinion. And then we can add the small de details later. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Oh, make a full guy or uh, make a fall guy origami. Oh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cute. Okay, so we're going to fold this in half. Okay, so this is what I forgot. <laughs> um, he has a couple of details, which is so funny. I kind of, I, I can believe that. I, I, you know, I'm not surprised I forgot this. Can I be honest? Okay, so this is folded in half. So this is the only thing I forgot in the entire video um, that I can see. If I forgot anything else, well, you know, who knows? And I might forget something in this video too. Who knows? Um, <laughs> Because I'm so forgetful. But at least this is the one thing we won't forget. Because I was just trying to note it in my head. Don't forget, Christine. But what you want to do is you want to fold this point right here to this point across. So you want to have these lines going across. Okay? And I will tell you the reason why later. But as of right now, just fold that in half. Okay? Um, and you want to... And of course, the rule of thumb in this video is whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. As well as if you have two pieces of the, that are the same, you want to do what you do to one piece, you want to do to the other piece. So those are the two rule of thumb. Like you want to do whatever um, you do to one side, you have to do to the other. As well as the same pieces. Jesse, make Dry Bones. I would love to. Dry Bones is my favorite character. Absolutely love him. Okay, so. We folded that in half, and then we have to do it to the bottom as well. So we're going to do that to the bottom. So boom, fold that in half as well. And it should look like this. Boom. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, no, maybe so. Okay, so this is the body. Right? See, so this is the small detail that I forgot in the actual tutorial video. Sorry. <laughs> My bad. Um, so now the next step, we're actually going to take these triangles, these points, and fold them inward. Okay? So do that now. We're going to fold every single point that you see here inward. Okay? So it should look like this. And again, this is his body. And the reason why, I explained it in the video, but the reason why I came up with this, these points is because when we add glue to this, it's going to give his body some depth. It's, he's going to get some thickness up in him. Because I did not want him to be completely flat. Like that was something I did not want to happen, um, was him being completely flat. Is Streamlabs being a dork right now? Um, 
Let me bring up Streamlabs instead. So I'm gonna let you guys catch up a little bit, especially if you're making it right now. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna take off Streamlabs right now because it's being a dork. Um, 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 what was? Where's the settings for that? <laughs> I'm such a dork when it comes to this. Manage themes, comment, analytics, alert, cloudbot, got you, link protection, word protection, local protection, paragraph protection. Okay, anyways. Okay, so. What do you do to one side, you gotta do the other. So, since we added these triangles in there, we're gonna do it to the other side as well. Okay, so go ahead and fold these triangles inward too. So the cool thing is that I get to show you guys in real life, you know, and it'll hopefully be the same ample time that it takes for you to complete every step as well. And especially if you have any questions, you can ask me questions now. And I'm so glad that we didn't miss that step or that little detail. I know it's such a small detail on his body, but I want these pieces to be as accurate as possible. So as you can see, when we fold him inward, he's gonna have some thickness, you know? Like he's his body's popping up. It's not completely flat. And that's what I don't want, is him to be completely flat. So Hammer Bros is gonna look pretty good. Hammer Bros of Fire, yes. Um, it's gonna be looking so sweet. So, um, put this on the side because we're done with this for now, okay? But do you realize he got some thickness up in here? Um, the next thing we're gonna work on is his legs. And as for the legs, I decided to not um, fold anything. Oh wait, did I like forget something? Did I forget a piece? That's so weird. I feel like I forgot a piece, but I didn't because I don't see any other piece. Oh, I did. Oh my gosh, I did forget a piece. I was just like, why, why does it feel like I'm missing something? Okay, so we're, the next thing we're gonna work on is of course the legs, the feet, I guess. Feet, legs, I don't know. Um, we're just we're gonna say his shoes. I think it's just easier if we just say his shoes. Um, the next part we're gonna work on is his shoes, so he can stand. So the cool thing about Origami Hammer Bro, um, he's not only the most tedious for a reason, because obviously he has a lot of details, but he is completely 3D. He can stand on his own, and you can turn him which, whichever side, and yeah, you can display him. Right or left, anything. Like He can display it on either side. Unlike the other origami pieces, the backs, I, I mean, I don't want to say they were messy, but they, they don't look complete. As complete as Hammer Bro. He's definitely complete. Um, lag, A Games Creed. <laughs> I know, lag is the absolute worst. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're going to cut out the trim for the boots. And this is what I was missing. I was just like, why does it seem like I'm missing a pattern? And I was. It's the trim for his boots. And I don't think I'll be transferring this over either. I'm just gonna work right off of the pattern. Um, again, only because the paper that I used to print out the pattern on is actually really durable and thick. So that's why it's perfect for the body and for the legs. Because if I want him to stand, I need something really sturdy. Um, Maxim, Maxim, what up? Coming in with the knowledge. Absolutely, I am making Hammer Bro, not Koopa. Although, let me know if you guys want me to make Koopa eventually. That is totally up to you guys. I'm down to make a lot of characters. <laughs> Jesse, every time I play the game, Hammer Bro loves to throw those hammers at me. Uh, yeah. Not surprising at all. Um, he's, a, he's a hostile character. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab these two major pieces. These are, of course, his shoes. So we're gonna fold these in half 
And of course, what you do to one pattern, you have to do to the other. So I think it's just easier if I just fold it in half first, right? And then um, do the other one later. So we're gonna fold it in half. Okay, so there you go, fold it in half. And then we're gonna fold it hamburger style, which is, oh, sorry, hot dog style, which is the long, wait, no. Hamburger style, which is the short way, I think. That's what they call it, right? Hamburger style? I don't know. This is hot dog, right? This is hamburger, from what I remember in school. So you should have four squares in total, right? And then the next step you're gonna do is fold it horizontally. So you're gonna make sure each point is touching, okay? So fold each point in half, basically. So from one side across, to the other side. So that, and the end, what you should have, and this is the cool part, is I get to show you guys what it looks like in real life. So what it should look like is this. Many compartments, as you can see. Look how shiny that paper is, what the heck? That is so shiny. My printer is so good, but it's so expensive. It's ridiculous. Um, okay, so. There you go. Not bad. Okay, and then the next part. Now, luckily, it doesn't matter whether it's right or left. Um, it'll get really freaking confusing when it comes to the hands and arms. Um, but what you want to do is you want to go here in the inside and pinch it down. And what I like to do is use my nail and kind of pinch inward. So what you want to do is create a triangle facing inward. So you see how I did that? Boom, and then fold that down. And this is basically his leg. All right, so what we do to one side, you have to do the other. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna do the next, next uh, leg. So fold this in half hot dog style. Dude, I'm getting hungry, guys. I want to I don't think I should mention food anymore. <laughs> um, so hot dog style. And then you want to fold it hamburger style. Okay, not too bad. And then of course you want to do a cross. So we're going to do a cross. And there you go. So fold it across. Boom, done. Anyone else um, making themselves hungry? <laughs> oh, Diaz, thank you so much. I appreciate your support. Thank you. Well, I hope you also like the other Nintendo DIYs. I know not all the, not, I know everyone doesn't play all the games, but I hope you guys have enjoyed all the other Nintendo DIYs. They're really fun to make. And again, if you make any Nintendo DIYs, please, please let me know. So I can feature you in the next video. Okay, so we're gonna fold that diagonally. And of course you should end up with something that looks like this. This is his other leg. And when you do, you wanna fold it in half. And then we're gonna create that triangle on the side, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna pinch it in the inside and then fold it flat. And you can use your nail to flatten that inward even more. Ooh, that's too much of a bend. You're gonna like go a little bit right here. You wanna go too far with that bend, but just, just about right. So it creates that little crease or that slope. Cause we really want that slope right there. You see how that is? It folds inward. That's what you want. You want it to concave. Calvin, I made the AC DIY balls for friends, but it's on the Discord. Ooh, Calvin, I gotta look at the Discord. I got to grab those pictures as well, because I gotta include them in the video. Dude, this video, the Nintendo DIY video is so long, but I love it. As long as you don't mind it being long, I don't care, because you guys deserve all the credit and all the features. Okay, so we have the two legs, right? The next thing to do, because obviously we cannot connect the legs on there, 
You can't just glue it on there. It's not gonna work. What we need to do is create the collars that goes on top of the boots and we'll use those as a way to connect the shoes together. Okay, so with these long pieces, these two long pieces, what you wanna do is just fold them in half, again, <laughs> hot dog style. So you're gonna fold it in half, hot dog style. And then you wanna fold it hamburger style. Okay. And what you do to one piece, you have to do to the other. So we're gonna fold that hot dog style and hamburger style. I apologize if my folds aren't very clean. Um, they're not going to be in this video. If you want very clean folds, I recommend that you use the side of a desk or the corner, and that'll help you make sure that it's not only clean, but straight. So I'm just gonna be, I'm just doing this, winging it with you guys today. Um, Maxim, hello. With the hammer be detachable? Of course. So the cool thing about it is that you don't have to glue the hammer on there. That's why I've included several pieces of the hammer. So if you wanted, you could essentially throw these around. Totally up to you. Um, okay, so we made the collars, right? Now it's actually time to glue on our first piece. So again, the glue that I'm using is Elmer's glue, nothing special. I don't recommend, I'm drinking coffee right now too, and I'm drinking out of um, Calvin's mug that he got me. I don't know if you guys are fans of The Office, but <laughs> absolutely love The Office. It's my favorite, favorite show. Lipstick glue is perfect. Do not use super glue. Do not use super glue. Because super glue is going to bleed through the paper so easily. So right now I'm using Elmer's glue. All right, and we're going to glue this onto the body. Okay? So. <laughs> I'm just prepping him right now. I want to make sure I get this right, too. Okay, so. Make sure that you're not gluing the legs here. No, 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 you're gonna skip that portion and lean him forward, okay? Because he's leaning forward in the reference picture. So the legs are gonna be glued here, okay? This is where the tail is gonna be glued later. So what you wanna do, let's grab the collar, let's grab a leg or foot or boot, um, and then we're actually gonna fold this in half and tuck it onto the side. And that's where the glue will go. The glue is gonna go about right here. And what I like to do is actually glue one side and then glue the other. So since I tuck that in on the corner, I'm now going to just lift one side and put the glue on there, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Elmer's glue. Now I don't know, uh, my paper might be too thick. Um, and the ink might be too slippery, so I actually might have to use, <laughs> amazingly, I might actually have to use super glue, but we'll see. Uh, but I don't recommend it for if you have regular paper, because the paper I'm using is photo paper. That's why it's so thick, and that's why it's so shiny too, because this is made for pictures. It's not necessarily made for um, paper crafts. It's way too thick, it's way too expensive, um, but I guess I'm bougie like that, so. <laughs> so I'm only gonna put glue on the top part. I don't wanna glue the, the, the collar together. So as you can see, I only glued one side, okay? And then I'm gonna glue the other. So just be very, very careful with the glue. And if it goes on too thick, oh gosh. After I just said to be careful with the glue, I got it on the collar. <laughs> Um, which is fine. I'm just gonna let that dry um, But just don't glue the oh my gosh. Oh, that's so much glue. <laughs> I Totally am messing this up right now. Okay. Oh, but geez, but geez. Okay. Well, you know, I tried I'm gonna wipe that glue off so it doesn't glue together um, And then just make sure you don't touch the collars together Wow, that's so funny. I like how that happened. Okay, so you should leave some space in the boot Okay, that's why you use lipstick glue. 
Heck yeah, I agree. I didn't have any though, so <laughs> struggle. Um, <laughs> so as long as you leave a gap in the boot, you're fine. You see that gap? That's what I want. Of course, hold it there and apply pressure. Wait till the glue dries, put that on the side. So I'm gonna wait till that boot dries. I have something in my eye. Okay, so now the next thing I'm gonna do is of course do, do what I did to this boot, which is apply the collar again. So luckily, I have glue just chilling on here. I'm just gonna use that glue. And just place that on here. Boom, done. That's why I love live because um, you'll see that like obviously I'm not perfect. I'm not the best crafter, you know, in my opinion. I make mistakes too and it's okay to make mistakes. Okay, so as long as you're not gluing the collar together, um, we're gonna slide this on there. And then obviously leave some space and then wait till the glue completely dries. Boom, done. Just apply pressure and wait till that glue holds. Cause you really want that glue to hold. It's the most important part. Oh, Maxim, that's so sweet. I hope your schoolmates like them. Are you in school right now? You better not be in school right now. Gotta pay attention, man. Gotta pay attention. School's important. Um, Sergeant, absolutely. Heck yeah, you are selected. I trust you guys with my life. Um, Calvin, oh, I will. I'll check it for sure. Okay, so, boom, done. Now, why is that? Is that glued together? No, it's not. Okay, I was like confused. Okay, there you go. Boom. So we have the legs. Um, now we're gonna glue the legs onto the body which is my favorite part because I try to make everything as easy as possible. So we're actually gonna slide the legs right on here. So that's why there's two parts because each leg goes on different part, on a different part. One leg goes here, the other goes here, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and grab our glue. We're gonna put glue right on that edge. And of course, I put way too much glue. <laughs> gonna dab it off a little bit. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I don't want it to be everywhere. Okay, so. The first leg is gonna go on. I'm just gonna slide it in there. I just wanna make sure it's in the screen. I'm gonna go ahead and slide it in there. Boom, and it's gonna fit in there nice and snug. And of course, Apply pressure and wait till it completely dries. Um, it should dry pretty quickly, depending on how thick your paper is. If it's really thin, it's gonna dry really quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put some glue on here. Add some extra glue on my finger. Just be careful if you are using your finger to wipe off any excess glue, just remember what finger you use because you do not want that any of the extra glue to go onto any other piece. Especially pieces that you did not want glue on in the first place. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and then we're gonna slide this piece into place. There you go. And of course, apply pressure. So as you can see, his body is now, there's two places, right? He has two feet, he has two boots, it's split in half so that he can stand, he doesn't look completely flat. He actually looks like he can carry his own weight. See, he can stand right now, which is the cool part. That's actually what I like the most about this origami piece is that, again, he's complete. Like, the, at the end of this stream, you're gonna have a complete figure, which is why I love it. Um, I wonder why they didn't make an origami bomb bomb in original Fireball. Who knows? Who knows? Um, Blue will, yes, absolutely. This is not true origami. I think I say that in every single video too. This is not true origami. I just wanted a way for everyone to make the characters without having to struggle with origami because origami could be tedious. So yeah, this is a paper craft. Um, okay, so to me, you're the best crafter. Oh my, I doubt you're so nice. You're too, too sweet. I. Think I'm just average. <laughs> I try. 
Um, what I really wanted out of this entire origami journey is just to allow people to make their own origami crafts. Um, because at the end of the day, as long as you have your character made, you can actually play with them as a figurine, which is the coolest part in my opinion. Okay, so we have him standing, we have his legs. Um, we're gonna now do his tail. And the piece for his tail is very simple. It looks like this. It looks like, what does that look like? A tree? Um, all we're doing is folding this in half. That's all you do, is just fold this, fold this in half. Very easy, very simple. If you need to trim it, trim it. But this tail specifically is gonna go right in the back in between his legs. So right over here. So if you want, you can apply glue right at the edge of his tail and then just stick that in between his legs. Again, wipe off any excess glue. It'll also dry quicker if you wipe off the glue and it's not too thick. So that's the good part too about wiping off any gl thick glue. It'll actually dry a lot quicker. So I'm gonna put this a little down close to the boot and hold it there until the glue dries. See? I think that's a good spot too. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold it there and wait till the glue dry. It takes a little bit for the tail for sure because it's in such a position that actually it needs to glue on both sides. So go ahead and pinch that and apply a lot of pressure. All right, so. This is what it should look like right now. We still have a lot of ways to go. This is a very, very long Nintendo DIY. Probably the longest one. Tatiana, hello, welcome back. I appreciate you taking your time out of your day, out of your Tuesday, to spend it with me. Um, when are the arms? They are coming up very soon. I know, the arms are the most complicated pieces out of this entire tutorial. Um, so I feel you, man. I feel you. Okay, so we're gonna put that on the side. Cool. Cool beans. He can stand. He has a tail. He's good. He's set to go. Um, we're gonna now work on the arms. <laughs> I know everyone's been waiting for the arms because the arms are the most tedious out of the bunch. Um, and they're the most confusing and I apologize. <laughs> okay, so when it comes to the arms, um, you need to know which one's the long side and which one's the short side. Just looking at these pieces here, you have the long side on the right and you have the long side on the left. And remember, they need to be, they're going to be flat like this, right? Um, because he needs to be clapping, right? So this is how they're gonna sit, okay? So what you wanna do, and you know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna transfer these at all. Actually, I'm just gonna keep them the way they are because I think it's gonna be easier for me to explain it too. So let's make the arm right here on the left hand side, right? So we're gonna start off with the left hand side arm. So this is the long side. This is the short side. We're gonna fold it in the middle point right here because I already know that both arms are going to need folds in the middle point. There's no going around it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and fold that in half using the middle point and the slopes should add up, okay? Boom, so fold it in half too if you wanna get an even better fold. And then the next fold is actually going to be right here on this side, the long side, okay? And that should add up with the top, if anything. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and emphasize that fold. And then if you need to fold it frontwards and backwards, please do so. So now we have two folds, right? So we have one fold in the back where the long side is. And then we have one fold close to the front, but it's not the very front, um, where the arm's going to be, right? So now what you want to do is you want to hold both sides and then pinch the long side forward, okay? And it should look like this, okay? So you should get that nice crease in there. If you need to trim, as you can see that, that piece is sticking out at the bottom, if you need to trim that, by all means go do so. I'm gonna do that 
for the sake of showing you guys, feel free to trim it. You know, if it doesn't look right to you, feel free to cut it. You know, no one's gonna know. <laughs> no one's gonna know, all right? So there you go. See, because we want this fold to be facing forward, okay? So there you go, boom, boom, see? Okay, so now, this is where it gets confusing, right? Because we're not gonna follow this exact piece. No, because this piece is gonna be on the other side. This is his right hand side, right? So, we're gonna fold this right there on that corner, okay? Right in the middle. So start off with the middle point. And of course you can fold that frontwards and backwards just to emphasize that crease. And then the next thing you do is notice where the long side is and then you're gonna make a crease where the long side is, okay? So make a crease right where the long side is, okay? So see, boom, long side. And of course, I like to fold it front and backwards because it really does help with that crease. So now that you have those two, two creases, Remember, this front side, the long side, sorry, not the front, the back side, the long side, is going to lean forward. So as you can see, I'm pushing that long side forward, okay? And then emphasizing that crease, okay? Because the creases should be going towards the, the hands, okay? Towards the front, all right? All right, so now, as you can see, we have two of the arms, see? And they're both facing the correct direction. Because again, these arms are completely different. Um, not completely different, they have the same folds, but each fold needs to be facing forward. Because remember, you have the right hand and the left hand, so it's gonna be opposite, okay? All right, so. Now, we're gonna go ahead, and then now we're gonna work on the arms, okay? So go ahead. Yeah, I, I completely agree. And plus this video um, is not necessarily for me to have a lot of people in here. It's always been to emphasize explanations that I didn't include in the actual tutorial video because this character is so tedious to make. I give kudos to anyone who makes Hammer Bro because Hammer Bro is so incredibly hard to make. Um, okay, so now it comes to the arms. Again, you need to know which side is the bigger side and the smaller side. As you can see, the bigger side has extra paper attached to it. It has an extra shape, which is a rectangle. Whereas the actual ends are shorter and they have pointed, very pointed tips, okay? So when it comes to the hands, um, this is going to be glued onto the arm itself, the pointed end, so that's why if it dips into a slight curve or tip, you wanna fold that in half, okay? So there's two tips right here, and here you wanna match those tips up. Then that's how you create that rectangle, okay? So as you can see, I just folded that in half. That's how you create that, that rectangle, okay? So that's super important, create that rectangle. That's how you know you're doing it right. And then the next step, is to grab that rectangle and then fold it downward, okay? Fold that piece downward. So you should end up something like this. Should look like this, okay? All I did was grab that rectangle and fold it over that fold that we just did, okay? All right, so the next step that you wanna do is now, go ahead and emphasize that crease, and then after you're done, grab the corner of that rectangle and bring it towards that crease that you just emphasized, that you just folded. Okay, and you should create two triangles. So yeah, no, I give kudos to anyone who can make Hammer Bro, because I'm not entirely sure if my video <laughs> explained how to make him very well. So there you go. So now, what you should have is his arm, his hand. Pretty cool, right? Not too bad, not too bad. 
Okay, so what we do to one pattern, you have to do the other. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. Wherever it dips, you're gonna grab that piece and align it with the corner pieces that are in the middle, not at the end. So that way you end up with that rectangle. So we have that rectangle again. And then next what you wanna do is just go ahead and fold those corner pieces inward. I forgot a step. <laughs> it's okay, luckily you can fold this um, however you want. So after you put those triangles, just fold it down. Or you can unravel the triangles and then just fold it over. Boom. See? Not too bad. Okay, and then, of course, the triangles. Done. So now we have two hands, which are ready to be glued onto the arms. However, you can do whatever stage that you want. You can either glue the arms first and then the hands, or glue the hands onto the arms and then glue the entire piece to the body. Totally up to you. I don't know. It's totally up to you guys. Um, Warped Cobalt, hello, how are you? How are you? It's been a while. I hope you've been having a good um, week so far. I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Sledge Bro kind of looks similar to Sumo Bro for its shell. Super Steve Star. Ooh, I have to look at it. I have to definitely look at it a little bit more. Yeah, no, Volumentals are really hard. Um, I could make them, but again, I think I explained it earlier in the stream. I just need more time which is something I don't have, sadly, right now. So how the hands are gonna fit, remember, think of them as clapping, okay? Um, the triangles that you just made should be facing each other. So this is how they're gonna sit, okay? As you can see, the triangles are facing each other. Okay, so that's why this is gonna be glued this way. Oops, this way. And then this one is gonna be glued this way. Done, see? Okay, so I'm thinking, let's glue on the arms first and then the hands. And then I think that'll be easier that way. So we're gonna glue, so remember, this is how this arm should fit. This fold right here that we made should be facing forward. So what I like to do is actually match it up to the back uh, slope. And that's where I like to glue that. Okay, so go ahead and feel free to do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and add glue. And then of course what you do to one side you have to do to the other. So go ahead and add glue to the other side. I had some glue left on my finger so I just put some on there. There you go. And then we're gonna grab this hand, and we're gonna glue that to the other side. Boom, done. Oh, that does not add up at all, Christine. <laughs> okay, let me try to add this up real quick. Okay. Oh no, the pieces keep sliding. Because remember, the paper I'm using is actually, uh, what was it? The paper I'm using is actually um, photo paper. So it's really good quality. Um, and that's why the ink sits so well on this paper too. But it's really thick, so I don't like to use too much of it. Warped Cobalt, hello! Hi, book fan! Oh my gosh, what's up? How are you? It's been a while. Okay, so right now, we have the arms glued, as you can see. Boom, done. Looking cute. Um, so how we're gonna glue these arms and again, if you need to trim these, please by all means do so. But the arms actually get pretty close to the elbow. So I'm gonna glue his arm about right here. And again, remember that the triangles have to be facing each other. Pretend that he is clapping. That's how, it, that's how I like to visualize it, if you need to know where to glue these pieces. Okay, so again, the triangles are gonna be facing inward. So go ahead and glue your arms on there, or hands. And then of course what you do to one side, you have to do the other. So we're gonna go ahead and glue the other arm. And 
And remember, um, the hands are actually pretty close to the elbow. Obviously, it's not touching the elbow, but the, it gets pretty close. So try to get as close as possible. And then if you want to change his position of his arms, please, by all means, do so. He doesn't have to be in the exact position that's in the reference picture. No, it's totally up to you. Okay, so boom, done. Now, if you want to glue anything down, I know his arms are flapping out. You can go ahead and put glue in the inside so that it doesn't flap out like that. I'm gonna just, you know, I'm just gonna like hold it there. Very, very cute so far. Oh my gosh, his arms fell off. I might have to use super glue. Just cause, um, like I said, this paper that I'm using is photo paper and the ink makes it so slippery. Super, super slippery. That's why I don't suggest using photo paper, but I mean, the color comes out so nicely. So that's the only reason why I really like to use it. Because the ink looks so nice. So just make sure you apply pressure and wait till it dries. Um, I'm gonna make Olivia today. Ooh, please do. And then send me pictures as well. Send me pictures. Rip hammer, bro. <laughs> I know, I just ripped off his arms. <laughs> it's okay, he's still alive. He's still alive, he's still chilling. Uh, so far, he looks really good. I'm actually really happy with how he's turning out. Um, I might super glue his arms on there, to be honest, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If he causes a little bit more trouble, then I'm going to just super glue his arms. <laughs> okay, so um, we are not halfway done, but we are working towards his head. Okay, chill, bro. Uh, <laughs> so that's a, rude, that's a pretty good one. I like that. So we are working from the bottom up. So the next thing to do is his shell. Um, and we're gonna work with the large shell first. So this is the large shell, okay? And all you're really doing is folding it in half and then adding details, okay? So go ahead and proceed to do that now. Oh, whoops, other way. So in order, <laughs> where you wanna fold it in half, you actually want these two points on either side and then fold that in half this way and make sure it adds up. If it doesn't, you could trim it, but it actually doesn't really matter. Um, either way, it's gonna look pretty good because it's gonna be actually shown on either side. So it doesn't have to match up, but if you want it to match up, sure, you can trim it. Okay, so this is what it should look like once it's folded in half. Okay, so fold it in half. There you go, not too bad. And then the next thing we're gonna do is kind of similar to what we did with the body, which is we're gonna actually add up points. So if I remember correctly, I just wanna make sure I get this right. Um, let's see. I think what I did last time was add up these points. It doesn't look like actually, hold on, let me see. Or what if I did this instead? Oh no, I forgot how I did this one. Um, oh, okay. Oh, that's really weird, I don't remember doing that. Okay, so what we're gonna do is actually, we're gonna take these points here and we're gonna fold them slightly over to make triangles. It's gonna look like that. Wow, that's not really what I did. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess. Huh, that's a weird. So it should look like that. Okay, so what you do to one side, you gotta do to the other. So take that triangle and fold it to each corner. So it should have in a shape like that. So this is a good example of before, as you can see with the white, and then afterwards. And of course, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So go, hold, go ahead and fold these inward. So it should look like that. And then fold it again on the other side inward. There you go, and it should look like that. Something like that. 
And the reason why, again, I added flaps is because I didn't want his shell to be completely flat. The only thing that you'll be adding glue to are these flaps right here. That's the important part, okay? That's the most important part. Okay, so. Okay, so what you wanna do is go ahead and then you want to, what's the next step that I did? Okay, so the next step is actually adding these creases. So after you add those, those uh, triangles, what you wanna do is go ahead and just fold it here. So you see what I did? I'm, full, I'm following this slope right here. Okay, so follow that slope. And of course, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other, okay? And then follow that slope as well. Okay, so you should be ending up with two lines going towards the middle. They're not touching, they're never gonna touch, but like I said, just follow the slope that you see over here and connect to the points on the side. Okay, so you'll be ending up with a lot of folds, but again, those folds are just those details that are on the reference picture. Okay, so this is what it should look like with the triangles being folded inwards and then you having some creases right here on the side. So that's what it should look like. You guys can see that. There you go. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, so, very interesting shell, <laughs> in my opinion, very interesting shell. Now what you wanna do, after you folded all the different folds, this is how it's gonna fit onto his shell, okay? It's gonna encompass both sides, the right and the left, okay? I'm lost by the shell part, I got you, Maxim. This is why we do it live. Okay, so, let me show you all the folds, okay? So this is the original piece, right? Let me bring it to the camera so you guys can see it. So we folded it in half, right? And then we ended up with this. The next part you wanna do is grab those, these, these points right here that you see here and you wanna fold them inward, okay? So this is a good example of before and then after. This is the this is the shape that you should get. Okay. And then what you want to do is next what you want to do is of course what you do to one side you have to do the other. So then this is what the shape should look like. Okay? So we went from this to this. Okay. And then in order to get these lines right here, all you're doing is following this slope. So now you wanna grab this corner and fold it inward. And there's points right here in the end and that's what you want to align it with, right? and then pop that out because we're not gonna really use that. That's just an emphasized crease because that's a detail that's on the reference picture. And of course, what you do to one side is do the other. So then we're gonna grab this side and fold it down that way. Creating that, open that up. And then we're gonna do it to this side, following that same crease, that slope, and then this way. And then of course, you wanna do it to this side as well. So it should look like this at the very, very end. Okay. So this is a good example of why we do the live streams. So this is what it should look like. Okay. Boom. And again, these creases right here that you see, these are just details on the shell. We're not gonna really use it. What we are gonna use is this shape. This is the shape that matters the most. You want those, those um, labels right here. These little slips, you want these ones because this is where we're gonna put the glue. 
So how the shell sits on him is gonna be basically like a sandwich. You're gonna grab it and you're gonna slide it right on his back. But leave some space at the top. Okay? So this is how it should look like. You like how I detailed it? Thank you. I tried. I tried to do as much detail as possible because I want it to be as accurate as possible. So if you look at the reference picture that I've provided, you'll see those small creases that I really wanted to add so it makes it look as realistic as possible. It's a backpack. I know. It's basically a backpack. So this is how you're going to glue it, okay? Keep in mind, I'm keeping a little space, even with for the tail. Um, you don't want to encompass it like this. You see that's how that's too close. You want to leave a little space, a little room, okay? Because we're going to cover up those small spaces anyways. All right, so what I like to do is hold one side, open the front flap, and place glue on these pieces here. Okay, go ahead and take off any excess glue. Make sure it's not running too much. And then go ahead and apply pressure. Of course, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So flip them around. And then apply glue to those flaps. So he's not flat. He's going to be very, very thick. He's a thick boy. So, which is good because, again, it provides durability. And... Origami, from what it looks like in this game, they're not really flat flat, you know? And that's what I wanted to avoid, was him being super flat. Okay, so, this is what he should look like as of right now. Not too bad, right? Pretty good? He's getting there? All right, cool. Maxim, oh, thank you, I appreciate it. Especially when you follow along, which is really cool. Um, Unicorn, hello! I made a lot of characters. I might make a couple more and then that's it. But we'll see. We'll see. So very cute. He's getting there. He's getting there. Okay, so we're going to put that on the side. And the cool thing is that he can already stand. Whoop. He can already stand. <laughs> there you go. So there you go. He's chilling. He's standing. That's so cool, right? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut out the detailing for his shell. So the details that we need for the shell are these four pieces here. Again, what I like to do is just cut out what I need. I don't like to cut out all the pieces because it because you could lose some pieces. So cut out these pieces that you need here. And then all you're doing with these pieces is literally just gluing it onto the shell. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and cut out these pieces. And I apologize beforehand, but my cutting skills aren't going to be as accurate. Usually I take my time, but for the sake of the stream, I'm just going to, you know, cut out the pieces and glue them on. Usually my folds are a lot more prettier, but for the sake of the stream, they're not going to be. Um, I'm just here to show you guys just in case if my instructions in the video aren't as clear as they should be. Which is good because, like, I know for a fact that the arms were confusing. I know for a fact they were super confusing. There's no way. Oh my gosh, Calvin, you're so sweet. I think my, my sister's downstairs, so she'll be able to hear it. You're so freaking sweet. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I'm going to have to text her. Give me one second. I'm going to cut these off real quick. Calvin, oh my gosh, you're so nice. Thank you so much for, for feeding me. Dude, you guys have no idea. Calvin feeds me all the freaking time, dude. Um, I wouldn't be a stick if it weren't for him. Um, I don't know if you guys work the same way, but like, I don't eat unless the food's in front of me. I don't get hungry. I don't crave food. Um, and it's so funny because Jason, he'll be like, what do you want to eat? And I'm like, ah, I don't know. And he already knows, like, it doesn't matter what I say. If he gets the food and he puts it in front of me, I'm going to eat it. Um, and that's the only way I can get hungry. It's really weird. I don't know why um, my body works that way, but it just does. Okay, so you should have four pieces for the shell. Okay. 
It should look a little something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna text my sister before she forgets. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much, Calvin. Oh my gosh, I definitely would freaking die. Um, <laughs> if it weren't for you. That is so freaking funny. Okay, um... <laughs> Where is her number? Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much again. Oh my gosh. Lifesaver. Okay, so um, <laughs> we should have these four pieces here. And keep in mind that the four pieces are for either side. You have two pieces in the, on the front side and the back side, uh, whichever way you're gonna start off first. So these pieces, how they will sit, if you look at the reference picture, you want these pieces to sit this way, okay? So the largest point should be facing outward, okay? And, this, and the smaller side, so the thicker part is outward, the thinner part is inward, okay? So this is how these pieces should, should, should sit. The coffee is coming in strong. Okay, so um, you can align these however way you want. They shouldn't be touching, but they get really close in the reference picture. So this is how they should sit onto the shell. And you see how it covers all of that? It covers the gap, it covers the, um, the folds. It makes, it covers all those details that we don't see in the reference picture, which is really, really important, okay? All right, so, we're gonna go, Miss Bliss, let him say his last words, I'm down. Let him say his last words, his last hurrah. It's okay, they're having a bad day or life isn't treating them right. That's what I always say, you know, um, especially when people come in here and they troll or whatever. I actually tend to troll them back. I find it so much fun. I know I shouldn't, but it really is. That or like, I've had so many times to where someone is obviously having like a bad day and I'd be like, hey, like, I think you're just having a bad day. I hope your life gets better I hope life treats you better and the next thing you know they literally message me and they're like yeah you know I was having a bad day and I was just taking out on you and I was like that's cool I don't mind and I think um well here let me let me share something because I was talking to another streamer a local streamer of mine and we became really good friends and he was asking well how do you deal with like negative comments and honestly, just have a really strong foundation. Anyone in here streams? Let me know. If you're a streamer, how do you deal with negative comments? And I hope this helps you out, um, but how I deal with it is having a very strong foundation. Um, I have a life <laughs> outside of streaming. <laughs> And it's a dang good life. I love my life, can I be honest? I love the people in my life. I love my friends, my family. So at the end of the day, like when I get off of stream, none of that matters. What does matter are my friends, my family. I have a roof over my head. I have a beautiful home. I uh, have an amazing boyfriend who like loves me unconditionally. I'm so freaking lucky, guys. I'm so freaking lucky, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so yeah, I mean, when you just take into consideration all the things that you have in life, everything else is so minute. It's not even important at the end of the day. Oh my God, it looks so good. So, sorry, I haven't even explained. So we grabbed those pieces and right now we're just gluing on the white pieces to the shell. Um, and this detail is so cute and it cleans up everything that we've done especially if you've made any mistakes up to this point which can happen it does occur, occur but it just looks so good so you want to try to match up the white pieces with the white pieces on the other side guys he's coming together so incredibly nice like i love that we did the red one 
Let me who who vote who voted for red? Let me know. Cause red is such a good color. It was a, such a good one. I love it. Okay, so. Um Yeah, and plus like I have such good members and amiibos in my life. Um Miss Bliss, Sergeant, Calvin, that honestly, like, yeah, none of that matters. None of that matters. You guys have been so positive. I'm so incredibly lucky to have such a positive community. I've rarely de dealt with hate. Can I be honest? I've I'm, And it, even if I had to deal with it, it's not a big deal. I mean, it really isn't. Um, I have a good life. I have a good stinking life, to be honest. I'm not gonna complain. I have a good life. Um, okay, so that is, oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay, so this is basically what his bottom half looks like. We got his hands, legs, the main turtle shell, his tail ready. All that's left is his head, which is pretty complicated within itself already. But if we can knock it out, we are good to go. So, boom, done. That is not bad. That looks really good, right? That looks really, really good. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited that we've been able to do that. Okay, so, and this is us not even transferring it onto cardstock. Again, you could transfer it onto cardstock, totally up to you. Especially if you want the paper to be double-sided, that's up to you. Okay, so future, hello. Oh, well future, if anything, if you wanna make this, I'm gonna shout you out right now. So then when you watch this stream or this video, when it goes, when it gets uploaded on my YouTube channel and you're making this, you'll remember that I shouted you out. I got you. Um, <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. At least you're in here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, Maxim, are you legit making this with me right now? That's so freaking cool. That's like what I love. Actually, you know what I envision is like basically teaching you guys and we're all just chilling at our computers in the morning just making art that's it's so dorky i'm so, so i'm such a dork but that's what i envision okay so now we're gonna move on to his head okay because all the details from this point forward is going to be about his head and his hammer um we're gonna go ahead and cut out his head the yellow piece the bright yellow piece that's really big that's his head okay so we're gonna cut that piece out all these pieces that you see on this sheet from this point forward is his is for his face as well as his cheeks so we're almost there and then we have this piece as well for the top of his head so keep that in mind okay so we're gonna go ahead and cut this piece out done so not bad right we actually haven't even transferred anything onto cardstock which is pretty cool. And I guess I just won't do that uh, this stream. Again, if you don't have strong printer paper um, or the color on your printer didn't come out right, that's why I highly recommend you use cardstock. You know, all you really need are the, you know, the shapes. And so once you get the shapes, you can just transfer that onto cardstock. Um, just in case if your printer ran out of ink or whatever, or your paper is not thick enough totally you know totally fine there's a lot of options that you can do okay so this is his face what we're gonna do is fold it in half okay and I think that's it <laughs> all we're gonna do is fold it in half and that's pretty much it um, <laughs> so as you can see this is his head and this is how it's gonna sit this is his top this is his bottom okay so keep that in mind we're gonna put that on the side. We're gonna put that next to his body so we know exactly. And later on when we get all the pieces done, I think what I'm gonna do is just get all the pieces done and then I guess glue everything on. Or we can just glue on his head already, but we'll see. And basically his head is going to just sit like right over here. That's where his head is gonna sit, you know? And luckily when it does sit on there, it's gonna be pretty sturdy too, which is good. Okay, so. Ooh, that's really close. I'm just gonna like move that a little bit. Okay, anyways. I wonder if I, I should like add more glue to that. We'll see. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. The next step is actually adding the cheeks. 
And should I do that now? Yeah, I'm gonna just add the cheeks now. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut out the cheeks. And the cheeks are gonna be these two pieces here. You can see that. These two pieces here, and these two top pieces. This piece, they're both the bill, or his beak, or his nose. I don't know what it is. I accidentally put two of those on this sheet, but it's fine, because if you mess up, I mean, then there you go. You're good to go. Um, so we're gonna cut out this. We're gonna cut out this. And I left a small little reference picture for you guys, just in case if you needed a reference picture. And then we're gonna cut out this right over here. Uh, please be careful when you're cutting too. I'm so sorry. I'm rushing just because I'm so used to this. I'm used to cutting pieces out, but please be careful. If you're not of age, ask your mom, dad, older brother, older sister to help you out. It's actually even more fun to make this with a group of friends. I know Calvin has made a lot of the Nintendo DIYs with a group of friends, which is so cool because that's why I envision anyways is just friends having a good time and just making paper crafts together. Um, so yes, make it with a group of friends if you're not of age. Again, ask your mom, dad, older brother, older sister to help you out because scissors are sharp. They are pretty sharp sometimes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut this out. So it's so funny because um, for my birthday, my friends actually quarantined to make sure that we were all good. And um, it wasn't a lot of people, it was only like a couple of friends actually, very close friends. Um, but they decided to do like a Bob or Ross night and we tie dyed t-shirts, which was awesome. It was a small gathering, definitely different from what uh, Jason did last year and I don't know if you guys uh, heard about my birthday last year, but Jason went all out He gave me and my girlfriends um, a spa day rented out a hotel room and we just played video games all night. It was awesome um, So this time for my birthday very very chill. It's actually exactly what I wanted um, Well, I mean Let's be honest, what I wanted was not even to celebrate my birthday, I just wanted it to be me working. Um, but Jason decided to do something really small and um, he put together something uh, really quick and it actually turned out to be a really, like, very humbling, um, sentimental night um, with my close friends. and. Uh, absolutely love them all shout outs to cj to andy to oh man just freaking everyone olivia revelous shout out to all my friends all my close friends who weren't there either because of course you know quarantine um shout outs to all my close friends i don't know if they watch my streams actually it's so funny okay so i'm gonna go ahead and cut these pieces out Boom, done. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and cut these pieces out. So these four pieces are for the cheek. Um, we, have, we also have the bill, of course, his nose, but we'll get to that later. As of right now, we're just working on the cheeks. You have a GameCube? I have a GameCube. Yo, GameCubes are legit. Absolutely loved it. Um, oh yeah, dude, I love celebrating my birthday with you guys. Again, I didn't want to do anything for my birthday except stream with you guys. Um, so the stream was already amazing. And then on top of that, Jason decided to do something really small and throw a surprise um, for me, which was really nice. And um, he worked so hard. I just see that this is popping off, so I'm gonna add glue. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, I mean, it was a very nice birthday. Um, and I think it's a great way to show that you don't have to have a crazy wild party to have a good birthday. Like it was even the day before was awesome, you know, um, cause Jason and I actually spent a day together before my actual birthday and that already was enough. Um, so it was really, really nice. How do you make rubber bands body? How do I make rubber bands body? What do you mean? <laughs> Double dash, Miss Bliss. I love you already, and now I love you even more. Double dash, Mario Sunshine. Guys, let me know um, what game would you want to have for the, the anniversary of Super Mario. 
35th anniversary, I believe. Warped Cobalt, thank you so much for coming in here and saying hi. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope you had a really good weekend already. And then, of course, we have a new week. It's Tuesday. So uh, stay safe out there. Wash your hands. Don't touch your face. And I'll see you in the next stream. Bye. Warped is so positive, dude. He's, ah. Oh. You're so amazing. Please stay safe out there so I can see the next stream. All right, so we have the pieces for the cheek. Now, I already know I'm gonna mess this up somehow. <laughs> I think, I'm probably gonna mess this up somehow. Okay, so we're gonna take this. <laughs> oh, am I, am I gonna mess this up? I can do this, right? How did I fold this last time? I'm gonna take this side. So notice how it's basically a triangle with an attached square at the end is what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna describe this piece. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this triangle side and we're gonna fold it right here, okay? And what you should end up with is a triangle, okay? And this piece should be flipped the opposite direction because obviously we got the two face, we got faces going on, the right face and the left face. Um, so it's kinda gonna, it's gonna kinda be like the um, arms and the hands that we did. So you should end with a triangle. And then what you want to do is grab this side right here and then fold that in half. So the triangle should just be getting smaller. That's it. That's it. You should just be ending up with a triangle. So let me show you, actually, because uh, I know Maxim is um, following along, right? OK, so <laughs> all right, so we have these two pieces, right? So we have these two pieces. So they should be flipped, because again, we have the right cheek and the left cheek on either side, so that's why they're flipped around. But all you're doing is making a triangle. So, you see this, this pointed side right here? You're gonna fold, fold that downward, okay? And then you're gonna, you should be making a triangle. Uh, it looks like a very even triangle, okay? Now if you look at the back of this, you see where this white side is? Now you're gonna grab that side and then fold it behind. So you should end up with another triangle, but it's just smaller, okay? Let me know if you got that. <laughs> Let me know if you got that. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is actually glue this just to make sure that it's, it's you know, gonna hold. And then apply pressure, and then you can leave this on the side, okay? So, ooh, I like how that popped up. Okay, so, now the same piece, it's, they're similar, they're both very similar, except they're reversed. So like I said, we're gonna grab that corner side right here, with the 90 degree corner, and you're gonna fold that behind, okay? And you're gonna align it with the bottom, okay? Because we're trying to make a small triangle. Okay, so, you see how I grabbed that corner side? We're just gonna go ahead and fold that behind. Okay, so you should end up again with a triangle. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to, try to put it in the camera because that doesn't look like it showed. So this is the piece, right? Focus, camera, focus. Okay, so this is the piece, right? Now we're gonna take that corner piece that's a 90 degree angle, and we're gonna fold that in the back and align it with the bottom and you should end up with your own triangle, okay? So now, if you take a look at what the back looks like, just flipping it over like that, okay? We're gonna grab this side and we're going to, again, fold it to make a triangle. See? Does it really matter? No. I'm gonna be honest, do, does these, do these small details matter? No. It does matter to me, because then I'll know. But I'm just trying to cover this entire triangle with yellow. That's all I'm doing. So, now I'm gonna go ahead and apply glue, just so that holds for now. So now you should have two yellow triangles. Okay, and they're pretty thick. They should be pretty thick too, actually. Um, and I like them thick because for the cheeks, I wanted them to be thick. I wanted them to be chubby cheeks. So, what we're gonna do uh, next is that we're actually gonna glue, or no, not yet, actually. We're gonna do the other pieces of the cheeks, which are these two, and luckily we don't need to really care too much about um, 
the writer left. They're actually pretty even and uh, simple. Oh, the glue came off. Okay. So with these two pieces, you're just gonna fold them in half. That's all you do is fold them in half. So fold them in half. Fold them in half. That's it. That's all you do. <laughs> that is all you do. Done. As long as they're folded in half, you're good. I'm gonna apply glue to this again because it seems to be taken off. Okay, maybe I should put the scissors on there so it just like folds it down. Okay, so with the pieces that we just folded in half, not the triangles, we're gonna glue these first onto the face, okay? Now, my patterns aren't exact, they're not perfect, so that's why be careful on how you approach this, these couple next steps. You wanna make sure that you're not completely aligning them because my patterns, again, aren't perfect. So, with the pieces that we folded in half, see? So this is the piece that we folded in half. So make sure it's folded in half. And the crease right here that's on top, that's gonna be facing downward, okay? That's gonna be facing downward. Now the cool part is, just as long as you align these, these two points here, you're good. This can come off towards the face, and that's gonna be okay, because it's gonna be covered by the bill anyways, okay? So that's where you wanna glue it, okay? So as you can see, this is where the fold is, this is where the opening is, see? And that's how you want to glue it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and apply glue. We're going to glue this on there. So go ahead and wipe off the glue if need be. I like how Maxim is making this with me. That is so cool. Shout out to Maxim. Okay, so again, what you do to one side, you have to do the other. So flip his head. Keep in mind that the longest slope is going to sit in the back and the crease of the piece that we just folded in half, that's going to sit at the bottom and try to align it with what you just glued on. So it should look like that. See? Boom. So go ahead and glue that on. I'm going to add glue first and then slide it into position. Maybe a little bit more glue. You can wipe off the glue dry quicker and then boom. all right so that is what it should look like right now this is the front of his face this is where the bill is gonna be this is the back and this is the top so it should look like this feel free to glue these down if you want to but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna cover it anyways <laughs> So long it's nighttime. It's okay. This video is going to upload onto my YouTube channel in case you guys want to follow the tutorial and make your own. This is a much more detailed tutorial than what I've uploaded on my channel. Okay, so that's what it should look like. Now, the next step is to grab those triangles that we just made. Okay, and those triangles are going to sit in the back of his face. Okay. A little higher than the than what we just glued on so what I like to do you see how there's creases on both sides the the opening that you see on one side that is going to be facing the back okay so that's why I like to keep the creases um, on certain areas okay so that opening that we have on that triangle that's going to sit in the back okay so we're gonna make sure that this triangle's upside down, okay? Ooh, maybe we should do the other side. Nope. So, let me see. Okay. Yeah, so, that, where that opening is, is gonna sit towards the back, and then what you wanna do is grab the piece where that flap shows, and that's going to be glued to the, the back as well. That's, that'll determine whether it's gonna be on the right-hand side or the left-hand side. And it should sit like this. So not only do we have a crease on the top, we have a crease on the side as well again that opened area is going to sit in the back and that's how it should be glued okay so we're gonna go ahead and glue that piece now but I mean it doesn't matter these are just small details that I've noticed that I care about obviously I don't know why I really shouldn't but I do 
I care about it a lot, apparently. Um, but these details honestly don't even matter. They don't even matter that much. I don't know why I put so much attention to detail on it when in reality it doesn't even doesn't even really matter too much. If I'm being honest. Hey guys, if I'm being completely honest, it doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on there. I slightly elevated it um, because again, my pieces don't really add up like the pattern itself. So I'm leaving a little space right there. I'm, I'm elevating just a little bit. You can do whatever you want. I think it'll look better that way though. And then I'm adding glue to the back as well. And again, the open spot is gonna be facing towards the back. The triangle is gonna be facing downward and you have the two creases on the top and towards the front. That is how you should glue that on there. All right, so I'm just gonna add at the bottom corners. I added up the bottom corners and that's what it should look like. Okay. So now that we have the triangles glued on there, we have all the, the creases added up. It should look like this. It looks weird. Very, very weird. But this is what it should look like right now. <laughs> all right. So now the next step is to actually, we can, we can actually glue this onto his body now. I, I believe that's what I did in the video. Um, just because it makes it easier to work on overall. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and glue his head onto his body. The only place I put glue is the yellow flaps that you see here. Okay. That's the only place that I put glue. Um, I didn't want glue anywhere else because there is no point. It's not going to touch that area or any other area. So go ahead and put glue on those white flaps. Feel free to spread the glue around. And then again, of course, use a reference picture to know exactly where to put his face. Okay, so here using the reference picture, I'm going to take this off the edge a little bit. And it should look like this. I'll show you exactly where I glued my piece. Okay, so I put glue in the white area and where the triangle opening was, that's where I put it, in the middle of that. So as you can see, that corner bottom piece is actually coming off. So apply pressure and hold it there till it dries. So it should essentially look like that. That's how I glued mine. That's where the white is, that's where the glue is. This, it's coming off of the edge a little bit, especially over here. And that's where you should place your head. Okay. Make sure you don't glue the inside. You want this, you want his head to be open as well. You see how it's open? It's not glued shut. You want it to be open. Okay. So there you go. That's what it should look like. Not bad, not bad, right? Okay, so we're gonna put that on the side. He looks really weird right now. <laughs> but we're actually getting pretty close to um, finishing him up. We only have, I think, some small details left and then the hammer. Okay, so the next part is actually not doing his build because if you look at the reference picture, his eyes actually slide inward ever so slightly, right? So I'm thinking, well, let's do the bill first and then we can slide his eyes inside the bill. I think that'd be a lot easier. That way you actually will know exactly where to glue his eyes too. Okay, so go ahead. You should have two prints out of the bill. So if you mess up, don't worry. I gave you an extra one. I don't know why. Um, but go ahead and cut out the bill shape. And then we're going to, all we're really going to do is actually put folds in the bill. Um, there's really not much to it. It's just small extra details um, that show on the reference picture. But other than that, um, really there's not much to it. He, he's still a very tedious uh, character to make overall. But I think from here on out, it should be pretty easy. Okay, so. Here's the piece that I just cut out. We're gonna fold this piece in half. So go ahead and fold this piece in half. Say why if a boomerang bro threw a bro at you and came back in the game. 
Andrew, hello, how are you? Hi, he's faceless. Uh, exactly, he is absolutely faceless. Okay, so. <laughs> Sergeant, uh, Sergeant is uh, judge, jury, and executioner. Okay, so. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the details to the bill. So the first thing that you wanna do is choose whatever side you want. And we're gonna fold this corner all the way to this corner, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So one corner to the other. And again, you're gonna kind of follow that slope, but it's not gonna be exactly. I'll show you what it's gonna look like afterwards. So, boom. So you see how I just have that crease coming right across? So now we're gonna do it to this point and then to this point. And of course, what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So what we're doing right now, we're gonna apply to the other side as well. Now, the next creases are um, going to be towards the middle, but it's not gonna be towards another corner. Okay, so when you open this up, it should look like this. You should have a giant X. Okay. Now, the next creases, again, like I said, they're not gonna be folded across. They're literally just meeting towards the middle. So do not fold it across. You see this corner here? This corner, like I said, is going to meet the middle. Do not fold it past the middle, okay? So in order to do that, just go to that corner, pinch it, meet towards the middle, pinch towards the middle, and that's it. And then you have that crease, and then open it up. Okay, so here, let me show you again, just in case if it wasn't on camera. So you see that corner? I'm gonna take that corner, gosh, camera. I'm gonna take that corner and fold it towards the middle. So in order to do that, all you have to do is pinch on that corner and then meet it towards the middle and that's it. Okay, and there you should get these folds, all six folds. Okay, so do the X first, and then use this other cor the middle corners, and then align that towards the middle. So, here's a quick version. Corner, corner, we're gonna fold that across. So we're making the X first. We got one side. What you do to one side, you gotta do the other. So we're gonna fold to the corners again. corner corner and then of course you have these corners in the middle which are only going to be folded towards the middle and not past it do not fold past the middle for the last two folds and you should end up with something that looks like this and this is his bill Look how pretty that is. I don't know why I find that really pretty. So, so pretty. Okay, so. Who's leaving? GD Gaming, I'll be back. I'm gonna eat. Please eat. Oh my gosh, please eat. Okay, so now that we have the bill, we're gonna actually glue this onto his head right now. Okay, because like I said, we're gonna glue his eyes on afterwards. So in order to know where to glue the bill, what I like to do is look at shapes, right? So I'm gonna create a triangle at the bottom. Okay, I'm creating a triangle at the bottom. And if you look at the reference picture, a little bit of this corner pops up. So you wanna lean this fold towards, towards his face. You want it touching. You wanna to make a small little triangle at the bottom and you want this corner piece to come off just at the top a little bit, okay? So that's where you should have it sit. And now where I wanna put the glue is towards the front over here and a little bit on the back. I don't wanna put glue here because that makes no sense. So in the front here and in the back, okay? So again, this slides right here. Okay, and then that goes right here. Let's 
gonna be glued right there. So you want the triangle right here, and then you can have that piece come off just a little bit. It's totally up to you, okay? All right, so um, if you're having trouble with this part, remember what you wanna do is fold it across from corner to corner, and then again, corner to corner. So once you have that X, you see these two points right here on the side? You're just going to pinch these sides and fold towards the middle, but do not go past the middle. So that's why you want to make the X's first, and then you want to finish off with those two folds that meet in the middle. Okay, and you should end up with something like this. Let me know if you do. Okay, so again, fold corner to corner here. And what you do to one side, you do the other. So fold corner to corner here. Okay, pop that open. And then these two, th this middle corner that you see on the side that pops out, you're gonna pinch that and fold towards the middle, but do not go past it. Okay? All right. And then when it comes to gluing this on the face, you're going to encompass both the front and back side. Place that like so. And then let me show you exactly how to glue it, right? So once you bring that towards the face, you can pop out one of the corners, and then all you do is create a triangle d down at the bottom. And you can, you can adjust his bill however, it really doesn't matter. It's totally up to you. But I'm gonna glue it right like that. And then of course, I, I'll, t I'll put glue right here at the bottom and glue where my thumb is. So glue here at the bottom, and then glue here where the thumb is. I'm gonna elevate that a little bit. So again, use the reference picture though. Use reference pictures. Okay, so what I again, what I like to do is glue one side and then the other. So I'll put glue here. And I'll probably put glue here so it goes on top. Fold the other side. And then pinch so that dries. And then pinch at the bottom so that dries. So right now I'm just gonna hold these and wait till this dries, okay? Wait till this dries. Um, I'll, I'll glue the eyes. I'm gonna slide the eyes um, in between because then by doing the bill first, it actually helps us know exactly where to glue the eyes. So don't worry, we'll glue the eyes. I just tend to glue that last after placing the bill just because it helps us um, accurately place the eyes. So yes, my keyboard is covered in paper. <laughs> Maxim, I appreciate you making this with me though. You, you are MVP today. So just hold it there until it dries. I might even just super glue it so it just dries immediately. Let's see. This is not, this is not staying. I might super glue you, sorry. Sorry, hammer bro, I'm gonna glue your, your face shut. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and place just a dot there. Um, and I can do this because this paper is really thick, guys. This paper is like, again, it's my, the paper I'm using is photo paper, but I don't advise it for everyone. I don't advise you guys using super glue. It just, it'll bleed through your paper for sure. I'm just lucky enough to be able to use photo paper to where it doesn't, it doesn't really show. I mean, but hey, if you, if you used photo paper too, by all means, super glue will definitely glue that in place for sure. But I would advise that you be very careful because the super glue will bleed through regular paper. And it'll make it clear. It does this weird clear thing. So just be careful. Okay, so boom. Not bad, oh my gosh, we got all the small details down. Not too shabby. He's looking really good. I'm so glad that we did red, to be honest. I'm so glad we did red. Okay, so. Now the next part is of course his eyes. So we're gonna go ahead and cut out these diamond shapes that you see here. These are his eyes. 
Keep in mind that these diamonds are pretty big. If you want to trim them down to a smaller size, by all means do so. I actually might even do that with these ones, but we'll see. Okay, so go ahead and trim these if you're going to trim them. If not, you can leave them be. Because I, I think, in my opinion, they're pretty big, but uh, you know, it's totally up to you guys. I'm gonna trim them ever so slightly just because I'm going to see whether or not I did make these too big, but we'll see. Okay, so, it's in my opinion they're so big, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I think that's good, whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get my glue. I'm gonna use Elmer's glue, I think Elmer's glue would be okay. If it doesn't stick, I'm gonna use super glue. Because again, I'm using um, again I'm using photo paper, and the photo paper can withstand super glue. Not all paper can withstand super glue. Just keep that in mind, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and glue these. So the thing about the eyes is that you want to cover this corner piece with the bill, and you want to get as close to but not touching the fold. Okay, so you see how I slid that in there? And you see the distance between the eye and the corner fold? That's, that's where you want the placement of the eye to be. Okay. So what you do to one side, you gotta do the other. So again, we're gonna, we're gonna hide this corner. We're gonna hide this corner right here. This is the corner that we're hiding. And we're just gonna slide that in there. I'm gonna get as close to the edge as possible too. But not touching. So you see that distance? So that's what you want. See, we hid that corner too. You can't really see it. You can't really see it there. Boom, done, right? <laughs> he looks weird with the, yeah, he looks very weird with no black uh, pupils. All right, so we could glue on the pupils because uh, I know Miss Bliss is, saying he looks uh, really weird and a little possessed. So we're gonna go ahead and cut out the black pupils. Feel free to trim the pupils if you want to, if you wanna change the shape, if you wanna change his, I don't know, eye color, if you wanna change anything about him. Um, dude, it, he's, it's totally up to you. This is your Nintendo DIY. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut out those black shapes. Be very careful, because these are very small. Now, in order to know where to place these, these are gonna sit right underneath the, the top part. You see these two points that go across? It's gonna sit right below that, right below that, okay? So we're gonna add glue. That's a lot of glue, Christine. <laughs> Whoops, my bad. Um, and then it's gonna be sitting in the middle as well. So in the middle, right below those top points. Boom, done, he's so cute. It's a little back, He's it's fa facing a little back than, than more than I would like, but that's fine. I'm just gonna leave it there. Okay, so um, I like to place glue on the actual piece. I don't like to place glue on um, the body. I find it a lot easier, but whatever works for you, let me know. So again, it's gonna sit right below. It's gonna get close to the middle. Um, and then I mean, feel free to adjust it. Ooh, that my super glue dried so quickly. So that's why working with super glue is really, makes everything easier, but it's super glue, so once it sticks on there, it's quick, it's fast acting. So um, that is what he looks like right now. Space and everything. Not bad, right? Very, very cool. All right, I'm, I'm pretty surprised at, at the construction. It looks pretty good. Looks like a Koopa. It does. It really, really does. And that's why, like, you know, if you really wanted to make a Koopa, you can follow this tutorial and adjust some of the pieces. Without hat, it's cute. I know, huh? It does. Definitely. Paul, you're definitely ahead of me. Exactly. You can adjust this entire template 
to make a koopa. So that's probably why I don't really want to make a koopa tutorial because you guys can do it on your own. I believe in you guys. <laughs> it's really simple. Um, you're just adjusting some of the pieces. But I mean, hey, if you guys really want me to, I'll definitely do it for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and swoop this up. Um, next thing we're gonna do is of course do his top shell and then the cheeks because the cheeks sit on top of everything. Cheeks are very cute, easy to make, um, but we're going to do his top part first. So grab that weird looking piece. It should be either red or green and fold that in half. That will be sitting right on the top and how it's gonna sit is basically like this. So all you're doing is folding in half. You're going to place this like so, okay? And what you really wanna do is just add up the top corner here right at that edge, okay? And it's okay if it comes off a little bit too. It doesn't have to, this is too close. It shouldn't be meeting like that, okay? It should be off the edge a little bit. Give it some space, okay? And then you just maybe want to cover a little bit of the top eye and that's it. Okay, so this is where it should, this is how it should sit. Let's see if the camera will focus on it. Nope. Camera does not want to focus today. But yeah, that's where it should sit. You want to cover a little bit of the top eye and you want to go off the edge with everything in general. Mostly leaning forward, maybe. Maybe leaning forward is better. But yeah. See, so it's okay if you have this little excess coming off. You kind of want that, too. Okay. That looks so cute. Oh, he looks so cute. All right. Anyways, let's, so let's glue this piece together. Most There's going to be mostly glue in the top. I'm going to use super glue so it's, it dries fast. Um, we're going to mostly put glue right here on the top. Hold it there and wait till it dries. And of course, what you do to one side, you gotta do the other. So let's glue the other side. And then hold it there and just wait till it dries completely. So now he has a helmet. Not bad, right? Pretty cool. Pretty awesome, cute cuteness going on. Look at this. I made Hammer Bro a few days ago. Paul, that is so awesome. Did you send me pictures? And if so, where? Was it on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook? Let me know. Okay, so he is looking so adorable. I mean, look at that. We're almost done. So as you can see, all we're missing are the details on his cheek and on the shell, the top shell. And then afterwards, we're gonna work on the hammer, which is even easier, and then we're done. We're done. Okay, so the next thing to do, here's the cheeks, so feel free to cut out the cheeks, put them on the side. What we really need are these two pieces, because these two pieces need to be glued on first before these pieces, okay? So go ahead and cut these pieces out. And these are basically just rectangles. The good thing about these rectangles is that you don't need to fold them or do anything with them at all. They're going to be glued exactly the way they are. Okay. So go ahead and cut them out. Again, the scissors are very sharp, so please be very, very careful. Okay. So these are going to go off the edge. Feel free to go a little bit past that corner because we do need to cover a little bit of space just in case if the design here doesn't cover that area. So you definitely do want to go a little bit off the edge as you can see, a little bit off the edge and glue that like so, okay? Let me use super glue. Super glue for me just works really well um, because of the paper I'm using, but if you do not have photo paper if you printed it out on regular paper do not use super glue okay so oh that glue that dried so quickly i don't know if that actually is gonna i don't know if that's gonna sit well 
we're gonna find out later. Oh, snap. Maybe we should just take it off. Nope, that is glued on there. Yep, super glue. All right, well, anyways. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna grab the other piece and we're gonna go ahead and glue that on. Oh my gosh, please don't dry like that. Oh, that's, oh, that glued so, that, dude, super glue dries so freaking quickly. That is not where I wanted that placed. <laughs> it's okay. This is for, this is an example. All right, so once we have those two pieces, now it's time to grab the two side pieces. So we're going to go ahead and cut those out. Be careful of the other patterns that you have on this sheet because everything is pretty close together. I tried to fit all the pieces on two sheets, which obviously is very hard to do. So go ahead and cut out these pieces. Super glue is fun to use, but man, it does have its disadvantages, so just be very careful. Again, if you printed it out on very thin paper, do not use super glue. I advise that you do not, do not use super glue. Especially if the paper is really thin. Don't do it. You better not do it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out. Now, these two shapes are going to sit right on the side. So you see how that goes? It's gonna sit right there. It's gonna cover all that red or green, whatever you decided to use, okay? So again, you're just sliding that piece into place right there, okay? Not bad, right? Okay, so go ahead and glue that on. So right now, we're literally just adding all the small details. There's really not much to it right now. We're just adding all the small details. Details that we would have missed if we didn't pay attention to them, obviously, because the shells on the top and bottom, they have lining just like any other shell in the Mario universe. So what you do to one side, you have to do the other. So we're gonna go ahead and place that there. Boom, done. Not bad, right? Oh my God, that's so cute. He is so adorable. Okay, he's turning out so much better than I thought he was going to. Cause it sometimes is very, very hard. Um, very, very hard it is. Almost done, Maxim, awesome. Mine looks like a security guard. <laughs> he could be, he could be. All right, so the, the last thing to really do on uh, this character is actually uh, making his cheeks and then we get to do the fun part which is moving on to his hammer which again you don't have to glue the hammer on his hand you can just leave the hammer off of his hand you can throw it around play with your friends totally up to you okay so the last thing to do is of course the cheeks so we're gonna go ahead and do the cheeks the cheeks have folds in them so we're gonna add those details and then glue it onto his Face, on the side of his face specifically um, you made a fire bro. I did I did we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to make the hammer just cuz um, just in case if anyone didn't understand it in the instructional video um, I want to make sure everyone knows exactly how to make the hammer bros okay so we're gonna go ahead and cut out the cheeks Thank you so much for everyone staying in here and I hope this was really just chill and relaxing especially if you had me in the background as a background music or background noise. Um, you saw me from start to finish make Hammer Bro which is really really cool. Okay so this part you will need to trim. Um, you don't have to but I advise that you do because the cheeks are very big. It just made it easier a lot easier to fold it and this is what we basically did with Princess Peach's earrings. If you've ever looked at that tutorial, this is basically what we're doing with his cheeks. Okay, so his cheeks, um, they have folds meeting in the middle. You're not going to go past the middle. Do not go past the middle. Okay, so Maxim, you have because dude, you're, you're OG, you're original. Okay, so we're going to take this corner, we're going to pinch it, okay? And we're gonna fold it towards the middle. Again, do not fold past the middle. 
Okay, so you see how I just pinched that towards the middle? I didn't full I didn't go past it. All I did was this. See? So you're gonna do that exact motion with the corner on top. So every single corner, you're gonna, just gonna pinch. And there are five in total. So go ahead and pinch towards the middle. Okay, do not go past the middle. Pinch it towards the middle. And then again, towards the middle. Oops, I totally was off on that. <laughs> towards the middle. Okay, so you see how all these lines are meeting towards the middle now? What you can do is pinch it a little bit. You see how I did that? Pinch it a little bit on each line to emphasize that crease. But again, do not go past the middle. This is basically what we did with Princess Peach's earrings. Okay, and you should come up with like a little bit of a star shape. You see? And that's his cheek. So again, this is a lot thicker than what it needs to be. So if you do trim it, remember how much you trimmed off and then just follow that thickness all the way around. Okay. Done. Boom. Okay, so don't worry if you got lost. I have one more to do. So again, this is the piece that you ended up with. You cut out. This is the cheek. You're going to start off with the corner and pinch that. So we're going to start off with this corner right here. I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to pinch it. Pinch and lift. That's all you're doing is pinching and lifting towards the middle. Pinch and lift. Okay. Just try to get it as accurate as possible. Because um, honestly, it'll, it'll work itself out. So you see how I have that crease already working towards the middle? You're going to do that to the other corner as well. So pinch and lift. Boom, done. Next one, pinch and lift. Done, next corner, pinch and lift. And then the last corner, pinch and lift. So now you have all these creases somewhat going towards the middle. To emphasize them more, just grab either side and then pinch it really hard. See, towards the middle. And then you're gonna do that to the other creases. Just go around and make sure that every crease gets emphasized. Okay. You should end up with something like this. It looks like a star. Okay. So, of course, it's a lot bigger than what you need to. So, like I said, we're going to go ahead and trim it. Done. So you should have two pieces and both of these pieces will be glued again on the side of his face okay not bad and the cool thing about it is that when you do glue it it's gonna cover this area you know it's gonna cover that area because it doesn't look nice right now so what I would do is place it there see how we, you would like it try to align it with the reference picture that's provided and then that's how you should glue it okay so keep in mind what points touch and that's where you should put glue okay so again trim it if it's too big still i think this is still too big so i am going to trim it actually a little bit more i think this is much too big than what i really need okay so we have that piece I'm going to trim this one to try to make sure I add them up. Okay, I'm going to trim that a little bit more. Okay, boom, done. Okay, then remember, when you're placing it on his face, just keep in mind where those points touch. Because there are going to be pieces that are just going to float. They're not even going to touch his face. But where it does touch, that's where you want to put the glue. Okay, so it touches here, it touches here, it touches here, it lifts off up, up here, and then it touches here as well. So that's where I'm going to put the glue. I feel like I should make the fireball item. Absolutely. I think what makes it easier is putting the glue actually on those points. Is that where it's at? <laughs> okay. Um, and then having it dry that way. Oh, gosh. I put way too much glue on that. Whatever. Okay, so... <laughs> 
I'm gonna have it sit here. And of course, apply pressure. Wait till it holds, wait till it dries. Daniel Davis, it looks pretty. Oh, thank you, I tried, thank you, thank you. Valentine, thank you so much for subscribing, I appreciate it. If you're in the chat, let me know. Okay, so, uh, not bad. And of course, you need to add glue somewhere, add glue. Make sure it's touching, hold it there till it dries. He looks so cute. Aw, I'm so glad we made him. He looks so adorable. And now he can go along with the green hammer bro as well. Very, very cool. Definitely, I will make the fireballs. Yes. Dante Edwards! Yo! What's up? How are you? Okay, so I'm going to go and place this one on there as well. Devonte Edwards, how have you been? How was your week so far? It's been a while since the last stream. Um, but yeah, I decided to do this one because, you know, I, I always get so insecure whether or not I explained enough for you guys to make these paper crafts. So I decided today would be a good day to make sure that if I missed any sort of explanation, this stream will definitely cover it for sure. So apply pressure, wait till it dries. He is finished. Um, all we have to do next is his hammer and that's it. And I'll show you guys the hammer. Um, I will definitely do the fireball. Maybe I'll do the ice one as well. So you guys can get a whole elemental going on. Um, and I think it'd be really cool to display these. This is my favorite, favorite origami to make, um, origami character to make from Paper Mario, just because he is completely 3D. As you can see, you can flip him around. Not only can Hammer Bro be flipped around because he is complete on every side, but he can also stand on his own. He has extra hammers just in case if you wanted to throw some around. He is one of my favorite Paper Mario origami pieces to make, and I'm so happy that we were able to complete him here live on stream, just in case if you guys need extra instructions. He looks very, very cool. I'm so glad everyone loves him. I love you guys' comments. Um, we are gonna finish off with the hammer, don't worry. Can you make boomerang, bro? That sounds actually pretty cool, Jesse. I do not mind. Um, two freaking hours? <laughs> He is definitely one of the hardest characters to make thus far. He involves two complete sheets of patterns just to make him. But like Adele says in the chat, he does look amazing once you complete him. He's definitely worth it. He looks so, so cool. Oh my gosh, I would love to see yours. Okay, so the last thing to do is of course the hammer and the hammer is really really easy um, and I provided extra sheets for you just in case if, like I said you wanted to make um, several hammers that you could essentially throw around please be careful do not poke your eye um, so in order to make the hammer all you need to do is cut out these pieces if you need extra pieces for the hammer obviously just you know transfer it onto construction paper um, so we're gonna make one hammer we're not gonna make all hammers but we are going to cut off the hammers here on top. So you do need two. You also need the handle. So we're going to cut the handle off. And then you also need two strips, just in case if you run out of the strips. So these two strips here, we're going to cut out those two strips. Okay. And again, if you want to make more hammers, I just advise that you use construction paper. Just transfer the pattern onto construction paper. Um, when I'm done with the hammer, I'm gonna leave stream. Maxim, okay, sounds good. Thank you so much for making this with me. That is so cool, and I hope it was very um, instructional. If you need more instructions, I do have the tutorial video on my YouTube channel. Um, Nintendo games, hello. Um, can you make pokey? Everyone's been asking me to make pokey actually. It's a good suggestion. Okay, as for the hammer We're gonna go ahead and cut out these two shapes We're gonna kind of replicate what we did with the arms with a hammer 
in order to make a crease. If you do not want to make the creases, if you don't want to add any more detail, I totally get it. You could actually just glue these two pieces together. But if you do want to add those creases, those details, if you said, you know what, I've gone this far, I might as well go all the way. And then this is perfect for you. So go ahead and cut out these two pieces. And then what you're going to do is add a crease to the hammer because he has a, it has a crease right in the front that faces forward. Okay. So in order to make that crease, it's kind of going to be exactly like we did with his hands. So you want to fold this. So grab this end, fold it towards this point right here in half. And then after you create that crease, so it should look like this in the back. So like I did, this is what I did. All I did was grab this end, fold it towards the back, not going past this crease, this point right here. Okay, so it should look like this. And again, feel free to trim it if need be. And then what you want to do is create another crease a little bit towards the front, but not all the way. And you want to fold it like that. So you see how there's two creases, one here and one there. You can emphasize them by folding it front and back if you need to. But what you want to do is grab that back and, and flip it forward. You see that? You see that motion? How it flips forward? You want it to go like that. And that's what it should look like. Okay. And that's what the top looks like. It creates like a Z or an S. Okay. So what you do to one side, they do the other. So the good thing about this is that now you can use that as a measuring tool, right? So we're going to take this end, we're going to fold it towards the back, not going past that point. Okay. And then what you want to do using that piece that you just used, use that as a measuring tool for the next fold. Okay. So in all there's two folds. Okay. So here, if I put them side by side, you see where that fold is? That's where I'm going to fold this next fold. Because you want these two pieces as even as possible. Okay? But instead, since this is going to be on the other side, flip this way, make sure that, again, this back piece is pushed forward. Okay? So with both folds facing forward, if you smush them together, it should look like this. Okay? And it should lay flat like this. It's gonna lay flat like this, to be honest. And here now, all you can, not, all you have to do is really trim it to the exact T. If it is off, feel free to trim it. Um, and then, of course, glue it down as well. So right now, I'm gonna actually glue it down just to make sure that it stays. Cause I don't like how it pops up right now. I'm gonna glue it down. So pretty cool, right? And you don't have to add this detail. This is such a small detail. It's so minute. It's really not that important. But if you want it to be as accurate as possible, this is why we do those small details. I mean, in the end, like I said, it doesn't matter. Um, but for me personally, I like to be as accurate as possible. Um, again, you don't have to because this is already tedious enough. So anyways, we're gonna match those up. I'm gonna put glue here. I'm not gonna blue, put glue in the back yet because I, I need to glue on the, uh, the handle, but I just wanna make sure I line everything up. Now the coolest part, again, is if it doesn't add up, feel free to trim it, okay? So here I'm using the scissor and I'm actually trimming it. Again, please, please be very, very careful. The scissors are very, very sharp. Okay, so be very, very careful. You want to make sure that you don't cut yourself. Again, if you're not of age, ask your older mom, brother, or sister to help you out. Just to make sure that you don't hurt yourself. And again, if any white is showing and you don't want any white to show, of course, trim it. So here I am trimming it. I'm just making sure everything is even before I add the handle. Okay, so with the front glued, we're going to open this up. You see how that opens up now? We're gonna actually add the handle now. So with the handle, which is 
the darker piece. It's darker, it's thicker. We're gonna go ahead and cut this out. But keep in mind, using the reference picture, as you can see on the picture, it does stick out on the top. So make sure that you have a little bit of it sticking out at the top, okay? That's really, really important. So make sure you have it sticking out at the top. You can even slide this in there if you wanted. Totally up to you. But I'm gonna open the flap. Since I'm using super glue, I already know that super glue tends to dry really quickly. So I'm gonna open the flap instead and place it on there. Because if I don't do that, it's gonna glue. It's gonna glue on there really quickly without me even being able to place it in there. Okay, so there. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the stick in there handles in there boom done look at that cute little hammer <laughs> very very cute okay so Paul what am I thinking of making next oh, I don't know I need your guys's help I, I honestly don't even know um, I'm down to make anything I just don't know what to make all right so when it comes to the string that holds down the hammer it's like a small detail um, you definitely want to trim this one for sure because it's not going to be the exact size that you need. Not at all. Okay. Yes. If you guys want to promote anything, whatever, I mean, feel free to ask me. I'm so lenient. I really don't care. Um, but make sure you ask me first. Um, and then Sergeant, of course, is today's modder. By the way, Sergeant also streams too. So um, please, Sergeant, whenever you're streaming, let the Mebros know. Um, I do not mind because you deserve it. And he's so creative as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab the other one because I know I'm going to need more. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it with just one. And this is such a small detail. Please be very careful. Again, like I said, the scissors are very, very sharp. And this this pattern is so, so small. Um, and this detail is so cute. I really love the details that they put into the characters overall. They really did pay attention to how origami is folded. And that's the cool thing about it too, that it's all doable in origami, I believe. Um, but in paper crafts, it just makes it a lot easier because I want you guys at the end of the day to end up with your own origami okay so this is the hammer right so all you're doing is now folding this like so and creating an X okay all you're doing is creating an X so all I did was fold that in the back I like to put one dot like one small dot of glue in the back in the middle and then just align it and wait for it to dry then afterwards, that's when I'll cut it, you know. I don't trim it until I know exactly how much I need. And then I'll trim it. I don't trim it until the glue completely dries, to be honest. That's why I, I advise that you guys um, do that instead. Do not trim it yet, okay. Do not trim it yet. Okay, so go ahead again. We're gonna put that right in the middle. We're gonna fold that towards the back. And then if you flip it over, put glue, like I said, right there in the middle. Just a dab of that glue. And then bring that bottom piece towards the top and align it and hold it there till the glue dries. So it's a perfect X, okay? So as you can see, once the glue is dried, then you trim it. And that's how you end up with your own little hammer. So cute. And even has the folds in there and everything. Now, this is completely optional. Sure, you can glue the hammer onto his hand, like I did, like, like how the reference picture shows. Or you can make several of these and then just display them. Um, maybe if you have him on the wall, you can have several going all along the wall. You know, totally up to, to you how you want to do this. Um, this is your Nintendo DIY. So again, if you do make this Nintendo DIY, please share it with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook because I am making 
an entire video of just your guys' submissions. Um, this is just so cute in general. I hope you guys liked this tutorial. The coolest thing about the Hammer Bro Origami is that they do stand up. They are completely finished all around, front and back side. They are very thick and durable, so you can display these overall. And they're just so freaking cute. I will try to make all the other uh, colors as well and all the other, you know, uh, items and materials for everyone. I think it'd be so much fun. But I did hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. It is very, very tedious, but at the end you end up with a very cute hammer, bro. He is just so, so good. He's so cute. Um, would you ever consider making a boo? Absolutely. I would love to make more characters. Um, it depends on my time, but um, there are a lot of patterns, free patterns, in the folder already. Uh, I did include Luigi, Mario, I did include um, Bobby, all of that is done. Maxim is done! Oh my god, you're welcome! You're welcome, Maxim! Huge thank you to Maxim for staying the entirety of the Nintendo DIY tutorial and making it with me. Huge thank you to Sergeant, as always, for being an amazing freaking mod. Um, without him, I would be a hot mess. We already know that. Um, but I hope you guys did enjoy this stream. Huge thank you to Calvin for making sure I don't die by feeding me. Um, <laughs> as usual, thank you so much for Miss Bliss staying in here as well. You've been here all morning too. Thank you. Um, Future 2 is in here as well. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this? Oh, thought of your dad? Really? Are you sure? Oh no, it died. Oh, well, the audio quality died. It's okay. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this stream overall. Uh, let me know if you guys plan on making any of these characters, whether it be um, Hammer Bros, or we have Olivia, or we have the different Shy Guys. These are all available and free down below in the description. If you do make any of these, please send me pictures. Um, huge thank you to everyone who subscribed and who donated and who has, you know, just been spending time with me all day today. It's been really, really fun. It's been a really long stream too, which I'm really excited about. Um, and it was just really fun to explain to you guys really how to make Hammer Bros. Because sometimes I feel like I don't explain things well enough. So, Sanchez, what's up? How are you? Daniel Davis, looking pretty nice. If Daniel Davis says it looks nice, it looks nice. Um, <laughs> ooh, Calvin, I'm gonna grab some ramen and dumplings right now. I'll see you in the next stream. Calvin, you are an absolute sweetheart. I'm gonna be chilling down and eating and grubbing on those sushi that you sent me. Um, thank you so freaking much. I absolutely appreciate you always. Um, that is the end of this stream, guys, but you guys know how I do to say bye in chat. I'll see you guys in real life. I hope you guys did enjoy this stream overall. It was really, really fun. It was chill, relaxing. It's a nice way to start off the week. It is a Tuesday. We still have the rest of the week to go, but I hope this was enjoyable for you guys. Sarah Lee, oh, so cute. Isn't it so cute? And if you make all the extra hammers, you can throw this around. You know what I'm saying? You can throw these, but please be careful with your eyes, guys. Do not throw these at people's faces. Um, your island is called Tsunami. That is so cute. I definitely will do another Animal Crossing stream for sure. Uh, Cherry Fi, thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Maxim, Maxim, see you in the next stream. Thank you so much for spending time with me and making it with me. That is so cool. Please post a picture. I want to see it. Hashtag it NintendoUI so I can see it. Sanchez says, please make Spiny. That is a good suggestion. I actually might just do that. Daniel Davis, bye Chris, have a good day and stay safe. See you in the next stream. Daniel Davis, man, I freaking love you. I like saying that all the time. I hope you know that. Every time I say your name, it's it seriously just goes together. It sounds so good together. Um, but I hope you enjoy the rest of your day too, sir. Have an amazing day. Please stay safe. Um, and I'll see you in the next stream for sure. Adele, okay, thanks for the stream. I'll send you a picture of my fire for later. Oh my gosh, please do. Did you make the fire too? Oh, I'd love to see it. Just show me on Twitter. Um, surprise me. Um, Jesse, let Mario fire enemies. You know, I have a ton of these. I have a ton of these. You guys don't understand. I make several of these to make sure that the pattern works. Um, I try. I have so many, so many characters just chilling. 
Um, but yeah, it was really nice to see you. Maximus, I'll see you next stream. Bye! Dante! Ah, you came late! I'm so sorry, Dante. Next time, though, I promise to stream again. This won't be the last stream. I promise. But please stay safe, though. Stay safe. Don't touch your face. Wash your hands. Let the hammer bro on fire so <laughs> It won't survive that long. Can I be honest? It won't survive that long. Um, Adele, you should make dry bones since he's your favorite. That sounds really good. Sergeant Sia, you can share the video I made if you want. That is awesome. Yes, your video is so good. Thank you so much, Sergeant, for modding today as well. You had such an interesting job today because there's a lot of uh, trouble, the little woes in the chat, but you handled it so freaking well. Thank you so much as always, Sergeant. And Sergeant does stream, guys. Please send him some love as well. He always does this for me every single day. And um, I really do appreciate it. Uh, Pirate bro with a hammer, of course. More. I know, I know. I gotta make the other, I gotta make the other items. I, I agree. Uh, but I love you guys. Please stay safe. Don't touch your face. Wash your hands. Uh, Jason, hopefully you will stream with me next time. But I did want to say that Jason has a new job and he's going to be amazing at it. He's now, instead of being just a regular nurse, he's going to be a cardiac cath lab nurse <laughs> that deals with the heart. So if you have heart problems or if you need love advice, he is definitely the person to go to because now he knows everything about the heart. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys next stream. So random. Um, but I love you guys and don't forget to subscribe so I can see you guys in the next stream. Take care of yourself, wash your hands, don't touch your face, and take good care of yourself so I can see you guys and have a good, good weekend. Week, week. Sorry, week. Wow, it's not the weekend, Christina, it's a week. Bye. <laughs>